Hello there, gang, and welcome to a very special model behavior live stream. We are going to go one on one with Super Sorrel. My friend Ash has put together his top 50 Marvel Legends of all time. And I myself did that video earlier. And now we are going to compare our two lists and we are going to go head to head to decide who makes the cut who doesn't, and who will be the number one best Marvel legend. So folks, without further ado, I'm going to bring on my uh, colleague, my cohort, and my co-conspirator from Super Sorrel. It is the one and the only Ash. Welcome to the show, my friend. There he is, folks. So a few people messaged me this week and said that when you laid down the gauntlet, it was like Andre the Giant, no, Andre, right? it was like um, Randy Savage hand, hand out, holding out his hand to Hulk Hogan to tag into the ring. So what you gonna do, brother? <laughs> <laughs> and Super Sorrel invades, David displays model behavior. This is actually an invasion. This is straight up <laughs> NWO. <laughs> My God, we're being invaded by Super Sorrel. <laughs> That's the, that's right, ladies and gentlemen, with the full power of Hasbro <laughs> behind him, backing him up against against the young upstart indie indie developer. That's why you see I've got to make 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 sure that I you know surreptitiously make friends with the big guns in the industry. That way I can <laughs> I can ride their coattails. We're going to see, see, see you know, how, how many new subscribers I can, I can get by rubbing shoulders with the guy who <laughs> revealed Mastermind last week Ash, that must have been a pretty cool experience for you that was a crazy experience it was um very awesome to be told that you're going to be doing it obviously i'm a big fan of the expert as everyone knows and to be told it's mastermind was really cool big fan of the dark phoenix saga especially the animated sort of episodes grew up with those so getting that character was just insane yeah i was i was so so happy for you and extremely jealous and very, very salty, <laughs> but, in, <laughs> but in the best way that you can be for your friends. I thought that was absolutely awesome. So hopefully we'll see more of that occurring. And and I, I got to ask, just out, out of interest, um, how are you feeling about the five pack reveal as well? Because I, oh, I wasn't we, shy in, all of in us, hiding my thoughts. All of us knew nothing about it. Literally, Hasbro gave us nothing to go on. They just said, this figure's coming. We've got no idea how it's coming out, but here's the figure and talk about it. And I was like, okay. And then when they released that five pack, it was like, mm, I'm, I'm. <laughs> that's that's great. So, so uh, actually, no, I don't want to put you on, on the spot, but can you say right now on my show that you are denouncing Hasbro and that you will never work with them again? <laughs> never. <laughs> Damn it, that was my chance to swoop in. I was going to tweet Hasbro. You know, it turns out that Super Sorrel doesn't want to do any more reveals for you. So, you know, your boy's right here. <laughs> Excuse me while I just delete a few videos. <laughs> <laughs> well, I did turn into you earlier. You know, uh, you know how you reacted to the five pack. That's how yeah, I reacted yeah. to the news this evening that we're getting an Owen Wilson action figure. I I couldn't place who that was. I saw the reveal and I was like, is that Marvel Legends? I, that literally, I literally opened it and went, wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> so wow. I, I guess, you know, look, there's, there's something for everyone out there, you know? <laughs> and, and that's quite... Uh, I did see a lot of people saying, hey... It's always useful to have suited bodies. So yes, that's something for you for you customizers mm -hmm. out there. I'm not I'm not a customizer, so I'm like, boy, I'm glad I'm not collecting MCU because this is a funny one. Like they're getting a lot of MCU figures this year, but for every you know White Vision and Wanda, you've got Owen Wilson and the Eternals wave. So, <laughs> well, yeah, because you, you'd never think about it, but the Green Xavier body is currently on my shelf as a, a green goblin custom with the human head attached atta oh, to it. Oh, with yeah, the goblin yeah. Well, I mean, that, that, that Norman head is just begging to be used with that green body. That's It's just, it's so good. It's a perfect, perfect fit. Yeah, it just screamed animated series. As soon as I put it on, I'm like, ah, oh, perfect. Yeah, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, maybe I should... 
I should do that because I was always like, well, what will I do with my hover chair Xavier? But I could always put um, the black House of X Xavier mm -hmm. body in there because um, I've actually taken down my House of X display <laughs> and reboxed them. I'm like, no, just don't like you. So <laughs> I, I think I might try and sell that wave when the Sentinel comes out and mm -hmm. people are like, ah, I want to have the X-Men on the box art. So I think I, think I might do that because I was like, I don't want to dedicate an entire show <laughs> to you guys. I don't. I don't like you enough. <laughs> Hang on, I'm just gonna. I'm gonna open my window because it's summertime now, and the attic that I'm yeah, in it gets so hot. <clears throat> so that's another kind of funny thing that you have to be aware of is that the figures themselves do start to bake in their glass greenhouses, and I get a lot of things toppling over. <laughs> But there you go. We're all good here. We're set and sorted. So now that I've given uh, a few of the Johnny Come Latelys a chance to turn up, we have got our mutual, or well, our, our individual top 50s that we're going to compare, like a straight up wrestling match, as I'm going to drive these wrestling metaphors into the ground. We're going to go <laughs> one on one. And we are going to basically decide, debate, and discuss which figures from my list and which figures from your list are going to have to be booted in order to accommodate an elite 50 figures. Because one thing I was very pleased to see was that we only have 11 figures in common, and then the rest of our choices vary wildly. Oh, yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to bring up the list that, that I, I have of um, the, the figures. I'm going to go from uh, your top 50, actually, Ash. That's what, that's what I'm, I'm, I'm going to do. And I tell you what, I'm going to see if I can be very, very clever. And I'm going to try and share my screen with uh, the folks watching. And so we can see, ah, yeah, here we go. So I am going to move us off to the side so we don't get two of us and then folks at home can probably see we've got my little spreadsheet here and we have ashes top 50 in the b column the b column going down here and you have got a diverse range of figures which i'm i'm oh, yeah. very very impressed by so ash has got his top 50 in the b column i've got mine in the a column so if we sort of start off on the list, we've got on the 50th place, the 50th position, we have Dark Beast and Forge. And mm -hmm. this is an interesting one because they're both similar sort of X-Men C-list, dare I say C-list characters? Is that fair? Mm, fair enough, yeah. The both, so, both so, from different timelines, let's put it that way. They are, they are, <laughs> and, and sort of on, on, the, on the periphery outside the main characters. So, yes. I, I mean, honestly, you've got Blue Beast on your list, haven't you? I do. I you do, Blue. you do. I can, I can see him there at number 39. And all I'm saying is Dark Beast has so much more going on. He's got everything that Blue Beast has, but he's got shiny pants. <laughs> can you not agree that Dark Beast is a more interesting character? Dark Beast is good, but he's not going up against Blue Beast right now. He's going up against Forge. That's okay. true. But, but honestly, if he's going up against Forge, I would say that it's a bit of a mugging. And Dark Beast has got to, <laughs> has got to take that. Because, I, I mean, don't get me wrong. I like I like Forge. But what, what made you want to put Forge on your list? Okay, so Forge at number 50 for me was because I never thought they would ever make a Forge figure. Because it's such like one of those random X-Men characters that have kind of people remember, but not a lot of people do. Half the time in the animated series, he wasn't even named. <laughs> it was just like, <laughs> it's just one of them characters that I don't think people would remember as the tech guy of the X-Men. And um, so to have an actual figure of him for me is really awesome, especially as the as a, a, an X-Men collector. I so. can I can totally appreciate that because I know how much of a uh, well a natural completist you know any X Men collector is going to want to be and Forge is he's pretty integral in integral especially with the Jim Lee kind of era yeah. but um I just feel like you you know he he is he is a he is a good figure but he's also kind of a a basic figure there's nothing too sort of unusual about him he's kind of a standard mm. what you call like a standard issue figure i guess yeah uh but yeah that's so i'm not i'm not I, i'm gonna i'm gonna put him on this uh other little column here i'm gonna i'm gonna put put forge as a um actually yeah a, a potential top 50 i'm kind of working this out as we go along and <laughs> we'll see kind of how this progresses but i'm, I'm gonna put put forge 
there, but we're not we're not going to go sort of too kind of chronologically. I mean, we both have Cyborg Spider Man though, don't we? We do, and mine's pretty yeah. high as well. I think yours is pretty high up on the list as well. I know it's quite low on your list actually. It is. He only, he only makes number forty nine. But I mean, I could be persuaded to put him higher because he is lovely, isn't he? Basically, I put him quite high on my list because I had that figure as a kid. I had the original one um, that came out back in the 90s, and he was always my go-to Spider-Man to play with. Um, he was, uh, he was very, like one of the most articulated figures I think I owned back in the 90s as well. Yeah, um, I, I, I vaguely remember uh, the, the old 90s figure, and I can see the amount of nostalgia that would come with that. And he had the blue fingers and a big open palm hand. And he basically choke slammed everybody <laughs> <laughs> when I was a kid. <laughs> okay, so well, that that's actually a fair reason to ha have him pretty high. And and even though the figure itself didn't really come with many sort of um, uh, accessories, just the figure itself is such a cool, fun-looking figure. I'm I'm really really down down with that. So I I would happily place him pretty high. Not not kind of crazy high. I'm trying to see where you did put uh, Cyborg Spider Man on I your put list. Cyborg on number six on mine. Number six. Gosh, he he was high up, wasn't he? So, uh, so that, that would go against your deluxe Punisher. Ah, uh, yes, that's right. That's right. Yes, Cy Cyborg Spidey. So I think we we can one hundred percent, like no doubt, Cyborg Spider Man makes the list. Absolutely, yeah. that, that's not one that's up for debate at all. So, uh, but I mean, I, I wouldn't want to put him so high. Do you think, like, maybe am I unreasonable saying like a a twenty position for Cyborg Spider Man? Yeah, we could go there. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to give him a, a provisional 20 and we'll see if we can argue the toss <laughs> late, later as as we go cuz uh, I, I I worry that I'm going to try and be too amicable with this and I'm going to do myself out of some some good figures. So <laughs> this is one that I'm actually going to try and fight a, a little bit more for cuz we don't have to compare figures sort of directly, but I've got Sunfire next on my list and we haven't discussed Bishop yet with yours and all mm -hmm. I'm saying is, you hold Sunfire up to the light and look at that beautiful, beautiful figure just radiating out energy. Tell me that's not a gorgeous figure to have on the shelf. As an X-Men fan, I would I would definitely go with Sunfire over Bishop, so I would happily accept Sunfire as the next spot on the list, to be fair. Ooh! All right. <laughs> I, I thought have I was going to have to fight so much harder for that. Okay, that's... <laughs> That's great. In that case, I will 100% put Sunfire in uh, position number 49. Yeah. We get Sunfire on the list. And that's the, that's the old uh, mail-away Sunfire that, I, that I've brought up on, on there. But uh, there we go. So I'm very happy that my Sunfire is now secure. Now, okay, you have you have uh, Cosmic Ghost Rider way down on your list. Yeah. Uh, so... Only number 47. I have him considerably higher. Uh, but what what are your thoughts on, on Cosmic Ghost Rider? He's the only Rider figure on your list, I notice. Yeah, I wasn't actually a massive fan of the Rider, of the Riders, well, of the of the Ghost Rider figures that we got. Um, I was really hyped for Cosmic Ghost Rider, and then it arrived, and I was actually really let down with the figure. Even in my review really? on YouTube, you I was like, yeah, I was kind of like, meh. I wasn't overly impressed with him. I thought they could have done so much more with that figure. That's interesting. And I was also expecting a baby Thanos to come with him as well, just like in the comics. Like, have the little purple that baby Thanos missed. little thing with him. That would have been something a bit more comic booky for me. And I just don't, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that's a missed opportunity. Mm -hmm. And I just, I don't know. I, I wasn't a fan of the cylinder on the head. And it looked too much oh. like Buzz Lightyear with a flaming skull. I love the crazy fishbowl <laughs> and the flaming skull. Oh, okay, but with that in mind, um, I'm a reasonable man. So you you had him pretty low down on, on, on your list. Mm -hmm. I, I, I had him much, much higher on, on mine. But I, I can appreciate, like, he does have to have some flaws as a character. So what say we compromise at a number 30 spot for Cosmic Ghost Rider? Yeah, I'll accept that. All right. There we go. Cosmic Ghost Rider flying the spaceways into the number 30 spot. You know what? We, I think this is going to be pretty pretty straightforward to, to get through. Well, then again, I say that. We haven't does got that any... mean, Does that mean yeah. that number, number 48, we could, we, we, could, we could put Colossus in there as we both have him on our lists? 
We do. And you know what? If you're happy to put Colossus in, in uh, the number 48 position, I'm happy to do that. Because even though everyone always rants and raves that Colossus is, is a great figure, and he is a great figure, I'm... I'm not I mean, that attached to him. I've only got I've got him on the list. He's he's number twenty eight, so he's not like he's one of my one of my top twenty. He's kind of in the top thirty, so I would accept yeah. him at a higher forty eight number just to <laughs> make sure he makes the list and compromise. Yeah, because we don't we don't <laughs> want to miss out on on that altogether. Because he is he's he's a great figure and um uh going. I'm guessing Colossus. that's the 80th Colossus you're talking about. Yeah, it's not the. Oh, uh, Absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not the what, what they call the the daddy colossus yeah, um, with, with 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 the beard, who actually think looks kind of cool. But no, no, we've got to go for the 80th because also that set a great. Um, I think I butchered the spelling of colossus, but that's not important. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't, I don't, that's not better either. Either way, uh, yeah, I, I think it's great that it, that that figure set the precedent for sort of larger figures. It didn't set the precedent, mm -hmm. but it was nice to just see another larger figure after we'd had so yes. many Bucky Caps and Sunfires. It was like, oh. <laughs> All right, this is good. Yeah, so yeah. I've got a, I've got a lot of time for that. Um, Colossus being now, regular size was always just like you no, know, yeah. When that, I made that, that other Colossus, be... it was just too small. I was like, what is that? Yeah, it's, it's like, come on, who are you? Who are you trying to kid? Like he, Colossus, e even when Colossus is in his <laughs> human form, he's bigger than that. So yeah, <laughs> that that was a real a real stretch on on their part. So now next on your list, surprisingly, well, actually. Look, I, I almost, without meaning to, kind of jumped over Retro Wasp because... Know, you've, you've, you've neglected my Wasp. Yeah, I'm sorry. That's That was very rude of me to neglect your Wasp. But, dude, <laughs> Retro Wasp, you're going to have... I mean, I like her, but you're going to have to convince me, man. Out of all the Wasp figures we've had so far, I, I always think like she's, she's definitely on an Avengers list. She's definitely in a top 50 Marvel list as one of the original characters. And I thought, because I've, I've, you've seen my display of the retro Avengers all together, right? You must yes. have seen that picture. Yes, so I, she looks I, I perfect have, I have. on that display. I, With having the blue does. costume and stuff, she looks perfect on that list, on that, on that like setup. But yeah, the, she's the, wing, the wings are very, very pretty. The wings are very pretty. But I see that on, on your list, you've got a couple of, of other figures that I would like to think, shouldn't they be, you know, higher than, than Wasp? Because you've got. Um, I, 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 it, is, is it retro rogue or regular rogue? Retro rogue. I didn't it include is, regular rogue in this in this in this list. It is it is ret retro rogue. So you you think retro rogue is a better figure than Avengers was? So yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know, man. That that face sculpt. Oof. So what what you need to do is because the uh, some of these like, what you need to do with 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 the uh, with rogue is pop off that head that they gave us and get rid of that and you know the uh the lovely other ponytail rogue head we got with the other green yeah rogue. if you yeah, pop that, yeah. if you pop that on your uh, on your jim lee rogue it looks so much nicer that i tell you what i 100 percent agree that is a really really good kit bash but mm -hmm. also that ain't the figure we're talking about <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about Retro Rogue <laughs> as she is in the box. Let me bring up a little picture ski here of Rogue. It wasn't the, it wasn't the best goal, but it was a massive improvement on the original, but it was still had a way to go, should we say. Yeah, yeah. It was after that Southern Bell. <laughs> the southern southern bell yeah uh a little bit a little bit dubious with with that one but i mean you know i could i could i could live with myself if we let <laughs> retro wasp on the list but only if if it's in return for dropping <laughs> retro rogue Ooh. But, uh, i i know or, or maybe can can i can, can i can we put Retro Rogue in the maybe pile? Because when I'm looking at her, she okay. does look... We'll put her in the maybe okay, pile well... in case we need some figures to fill the list out later on. It, exactly. I think I think that that's re reasonable. So, Retro... <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. I want, I want to like that figure more, but it's it's tough, man. It's it's, it's tough. Um, but, but Retro Wasp, then, I will, I will put um, in number 47... And again, you can you can shuffle if you think uh, that's that's not what we, we're going to stick with. But that's staying, right. all right, that's that's all right. And then we've got one that's actually we both share. But again, we're a bit different with our placements, and that is eighty years Hulk. I've got eighty mm -hmm. years Hulk way way up. You're not so impressed with him. 
He's an alright figure. I preferred Red Hulk to the uh, to the 80th Hulk, to be honest. I know it's the very same body, but just with a different head. But I don't know. I preferred the Red Hulk. Um, the Green Hulk, to me, still is... I still don't think we've had a definitive Hulk yet. Really? really but, but, mm. but, but what's he lacking? He's... he's Size he's and height. Size, Size and height. height. Really? Because th we've got that with the Select Hulk, and he always looks too yeah. big. But I, I, there needs to be a middle ground somewhere. They need to make one that's slightly bigger than what Marvel have done so far. There's, there's, there's a sweet spot. I'm there's, there's a sweet spot yeah, no, I'm, I'm looking at him again, and the fact that the fact that Black Widow, uh, I've got the retro Black Widow stood with him, and she comes up to his pectorals. There is no way she's as tall as his chest. There is no human possible way. That that actually is a very very good good point. Yeah, if, if, if uh, Widow is coming up that high, <laughs> then I can appreciate there's there's an issue there's an, an issue to, to be had had with that. I'm trying to I find. Wish, oh, there I wish is. this camera was like long enough to take for a walk, but it's not. I know. I was thinking that it's so difficult when you film these live streams on your laptop because I want to be able to you know pick pick this up and show all the different <laughs> figures. But still, here we have here we have our Hulk, who is beautiful, but. I, I I understand if 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 you're focused on the scaling of the characters, then mm -hmm. you could argue that he could if we're he could be bigger. If we're referring to a top fifty Marvel Legends list based on the character itself and based on the the figure and how the figure looks and displays, especially as a displays model behavior kind of channel, <laughs> I would have thought that scale would have been a big deal, and that well, is it too is. small. Well, I, you know what, I, I respectfully disagree, but <laughs> we can still. I, I will. I'm willing to compromise. I mean, the the, the good thing is that we both have him in our list anyway. Where but did you um, put him? I put him really high. I had 80th Hulk at number seven. Oh God! <laughs> so, so look, I can't. I can't have a a big. He's figure higher than that, Toxin. That you put him higher than Toxin. What? I yeah, I put him higher than Toxin. Toxin is lacking too much paint. He needs the <gasps> mouth painted. <laughs> See, I knew, I knew this was going to get intense. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I, I love it. I, I was like, when is this discussion going to break down? <laughs> there it is. At Twenty minutes into the show. <laughs> See, I would have, I would have accepted Grey Hulk higher than Green Hulk. You know what? Because it, Grey it's Hulk's tough. got I more nostalgia. I think honestly, Great Grey Hulk, it's the flip side, actually. I think Green Hulk has more nostalgia because he's the more iconic classic version of the character. Uh, so I think I think I do have Grey Hulk in there somewhere, but we'll have to we'll have to cross that bridge when we come to it. <laughs> but de definitely uh I, I think Green Hulk, 80th Hulk, he needs to be above Cosmic Ghost Rider, definitely. So can we agree that he goes above Cosmic Ghost Rider? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Does he go above Cyborg Spider Man? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, all right. Or, already, I feel like that's that's a good sort of win for me. So I would accept him at nineteen. Oh, just come on! I was going to say at, at least top ten. Really? No, he's not, he's not top. He's not top ten. Fifteen. 15, 15, 15. <laughs> that, <laughs> that, that pained me, man. That really pained me. All right, 80th Hulk at 15. All right, you know what? I'm not going to lie. This, Even if we had no viewers, this is really fun. <laughs> I'm getting a real <laughs> kick out of this. Okay, that's, that's excellent. So 80th Hulk in the number 15. All right. So uh, we'll, we'll go over to, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, keep, we'll keep on, on yours for now because this is a tough one. Stanley. Stanley, which... It's obviously going to have the hugest amount of nostalgia and sentimentality, mm -hmm. but is the figure worthy of a top 50 placement? <sighs> As the granddaddy of the company, the fact that he passed away, for me, it was being able to I, have the icon on my shelf, surrounded by Spider-Man, Captain America, Iron Man. For me, he's, he's got, I've got him in that director's chair as well from the select oh. of the frog. So yes. it just looks yes. good. And he's he's reading a, um, a, a he's reading the Daily Bugle thanks to the Retro Spider Man wave as well, and uh, yeah, for me I don't know he's he's always in the movies so I feel like he has to have a cameo on my shelf. All right, you know what? In in fairness, oh I didn't want to do that. that that's very difficult to read. In fairness, I actually just wanted to see you work for him because I have no problem with him <laughs> being on the list at all. So yeah, absolutely one hundred percent. Stan, actually, uh, I think he can he can keep his. He doesn't have to go down one. He can keep his number forty five spot. 
Stanley there, no problem. I'm happy to have Stanley because also like he he is. It's 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 a really great likeness, I think. And mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's uh, even though those damn civilian shoes are are such a a pain to stand up sometimes. Do you find that? Yeah, oh, exactly. that's why I've got him sat down. Sat down. Yeah. Is perfect. <laughs> Okay, I, I tell you what, I, th I feel like I need to go over to, to my side again, because first of all, I, I'm having some, some trouble with, with the fact that Retro Wasp, well, actually, the, the big problem I have is, is Cable. I think I placed him too low. I love Cable, and you don't have him on your list. Uh, to be honest, I mean, you're an X-Men collector. What the hell is your, your problem with Cable? I was never a massive Cable fan as a, uh, like as a kid and stuff. He was never one of my high-up characters. Neither was Deadpool, to be fair. I was never a massive reader of Deadpool. Uh, so they, for me, Cable and Deadpool kind of came together as a package deal back in the 90s, the X-Force and all that. So mm, I kind of don't have him on my list at all because I didn't think I don't think the figures they've produced so far have been that worthy of him, to be honest. Really? You're mm. you're not impressed with with, with no. like the Marvel Legends? Like, I, preferred, the I preferred the original Cable figure over the newer one. I preferred the original one because I thought what, that the more, more, the more mercenary more one. one. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Interesting. See, I never liked that version, the 2018 one. I never liked that one. I thought there was too much going on. His armor and stuff's too bulky. It just makes him look the ridiculous. Whole point. Yeah. That's no, because it's exactly how Rob Liefeld designed him. It's <laughs> it, it's exactly what he. They just they just picked it off the front cover. I <laughs> I can't I can't see the comments, but I have no doubt the comment section is coming <laughs> on fire. It's coming unglued, agreeing with me. I can actually, only assume. Actually, Sword in the Storm is saying Deadpool sucks. So there's only Brian sticking up for you right now, mate, to be honest. <laughs> well, that's that's because Brian displays model behavior and is a true believer. Look, I I'm gonna have a real hard time not having cable on this list at all all so you wouldn't you don't even think he's he's better than forge you wouldn't let him take forge's number 50 spot How look about, at all the accessories look at we all are the missing sculpting. we are missing number 46 so why don't you put him at 46 just below stan <sighs> okay okay i'm happy to have secured him on the list that's good. You know, also, by doing this backwards, we're really going to make life difficult for ourselves when we get to the figures we really love. <laughs> but that's kind of fun as well. Um, so you've got Nuke on your list. What is Nuke even doing on that list? The, the, dude, has, the dude has two heads. So you've already got the extra value there. Plus, he's got you know a big old like BFG type weapon, and he's and if you're talking about like kit bashing potential and possibilities, that waistcoat jacket of his can be used for mm. so much, especially characters like uh, Crossbones. <laughs> throw but, that on him. Throw that jacket on anyone, and it looks amazing. But, That's where the value comes from. <laughs> but if I can't kit bash Rogue's head and make it to the list, then he then kit bash is going to be taken out of this concept. Ah, you, ah you, you as a figure I see that. No, no, because you wanted to have your kit bashed figure in the list. <laughs> I'm just saying this figure allows you for other <laughs> kit bash potential. If you wanted to argue the kit bash, then you should argue that the rogue two pack rogue should go on the list <laughs> all i'm saying like look 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 you got you got two mm. heads you've got the the removable knife and everyone loves re removable stuff you've got his weapon there and you've got the waistcoat jacket with the shotgun rounds with the grenades with extra belts i mean come on stars and stripes america am i right I ended up using his lower half for a Captain America kind of jungle kit bash a long time ago. See, um, this figure so is so versatile. He's, he's a kit bash figure. He's, I don't think anyone ever bought him and went, wow, nuke, except probably you. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I mean, I'm not that fussed about the character either. But it's just, it's just, oh, man, it's, it, it's going to be really tough for me to not have him on, on, on the list, but I... Really? I, I, yeah, look, I'll, I'll, I'll put him... I'll put him with Retro Rogue, all right? Because because you've got Retro Rogue in the maybes, so <laughs> I'll put I'll put Nuke in the maybes. But honestly, that's ah, oh, that's that's a heartbreaker, man. That 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 really really is. Okay, so well, let's, let's go to one. Yeah, because I find this one quite amusing. Because like you've got, I've got War Machine Deluxe on the list, but he's at forty four for me. For you, he's like yeah. number three. I love War Machine Deluxe. He's so pretty. 
He's got so much going on. He comes with so many extras. I mean, dude, I don't, he's, it's, he's on my it's, shelf. He's on my shelf. He's on display. He better be. He's on display. He gave me a cool new head to use. He gave me exactly. some pretty accessories I've had a thousand times. Dude, yeah, but look, two two heads. You haven't had the the spinning side. No, we've had that one before. before. That's new. E exactly. Plus, this <laughs> debuted. Am I right? This Iron Man body. This was a new Iron Man body. This was a new Iron, Iron Man body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They've used it like exactly. every time. So this, this got all the excitement percolating. This was like, oh, the nineties Iron Man modular. Oh man, so. Like and again with the roadie flat top head, all the accessories. I, 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 as many know, I use the boot jet accessory on the Green Goblin glider, which looks amazing. He's got, he's got to, he's got to be higher than forty four, man. He's got to be higher. <laughs> I still, I mean, you, I'll, I'll let you have him. The, I'll let you have him in the top ten. <gasps> You All right, that's that, that's a victory. That's a victory for me already. I, I I don't mind putting him at number ten if you want. Yeah, stick him at number ten for now, and then we can always debate him later on as well. As oh, we, you better believe me. Well. The Lux War Machine. There <laughs> we go. So I will take that there, and there we go. And yeah, that was number three. Jeez, Louise. Okay, and then we've got yours <laughs> here too. Radioactive hey, bear. What war machine is in the top ten? Sorrel, and he spelled yeah. sorrel wrong. I'm not a herb. <laughs> <laughs> no, but things are getting spicy here. <laughs> things are getting real <laughs> spicy up in here. Because actually, I, I need to move the dark beast to the maybe slot as well. Because I, I'm not happy with not having him represented at all. Especially because you've got boring blue fur beast on there. So we will see about that. Blue fur beast with a head sculpt that everyone dislikes. <laughs> but we will come to that. We will come to that later. I do have Retro Gambit still hanging out, not doing much. And honestly, I, I like that character, but I could be persuaded to just straight up get rid of him. Retro Gambit? Yeah. Like, I mean, do you have Retro like, Gambit on your I'm list? I'm trying to think. Did I, even, I must have had Gambit on my list. No, you had, retro, my you had book. Retro Rogue. You had Retro Rogue, but you didn't have um, Retro Gambit. Are you? Is, is this is this a last minute substitution for Super Sorrel? You want to throw Retro Gambit? You want to make sure he stays on the list? Oh yeah, because I've got I've got um, I've got uh, Daredevil on twice. <laughs> yeah, I noticed that when I was making because I didn't like. This is so typical of me. I went to your video to get your top 50. I didn't even notice that you'd written it in the description. So I just went went through the video and wrote them down as you were saying them. And yeah, that, that threw me for a second. I was like, wait, haven't we had Daredevil already? So um, I, and at I, one I'm point gonna... you miss you you miss out 22 on your list <laughs> as well. You do, you do. <laughs> well 22 is monster venom. <laughs> yeah, I kind of I kind of fudged it together, yeah. <laughs> but that's fine. So well, I would I would definitely substitute the, the, the double red gambit, sorry, the the red daredevil that I've put on twice for a retro gambit at 43. Okay, so retro gambit 43. All right, I'm kind of happy with that. Retro gambit. There, there we go. Uh, this is this is coming together. We're we're finding some common ground, but also have we did it forty four. We have we tied it on forty four yet? No, and I mm -hmm. I do have Pizza Spider Man just just waiting here for number yeah, forty four. Yeah, you can slot him in there. Yeah, there we go, Pizza Spider Man. Because yeah, that that mold, that figure. Yeah, of course it does show its age, but my goodness, for the iconic, iconic Spider Man. So Spider -Man? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, totally. Not even All as a right, Spider-Man so... collector. I kind of had I had that one on my shelf until the new one from the from the retro wave arrived. He was my go-to Spidey. So yeah, I no, he, he is. He he was so brilliantly versatile and just like the big '90s eyes. I thought it was wonderful. So yeah, there's a lot a lot of time for that one. So I tell you what, there's a couple of baths on here that are close together that I think one of them should probably go because they're both great in different ways and they're both terrible in different ways. And I think we should throw head to head sugar man and strong guy. Cause okay. I got some thoughts about strong guy. And okay. in, interestingly, when I did my figure of the year and I did the fan vote, strong guy won the model behavior 2020 figure of the year. And I was egregious at having to award that figure figure of the year because <laughs> i don't get it someone explain this to me i don't get it 
Well, I remember when Sugarman was announced and everyone in the group was going absolutely bat, you know, batshit crazy about it, screaming, you know, they need to have this figure. And I was like, really? I'm really not that. I'm, it's like, and everyone's buying, buying fake tattoos for him. And I'm like, I'm really not excited about this figure. And he's going straight for sale. Goodbye. <laughs> I suppose, I mean, if you're not an Age of Apocalypse person, then it is going to be a bit of a hard sell. I, I see, this is what I see. This is where people are going to fall out with me now. I like X Men. I love X Men. Age of Apocalypse look cool, but I could never get my head around the story because there was so much going on, and the the comics were so hard to come by. And I think I read them out of out of continuity and things, and there were so many different spin offs, and they were like, oh my god. Probably so. You couldn't really appreciate it for appreciate what it was. Appreciate him for what the character the was. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that that is a shame. So I guess if if you don't have that that connection, then I appreciate that. And also, to be honest, I didn't really focus on Sugar Man when I was reading the Age of Apocalypse, so that didn't yeah. really mean too much to me. Um, I did the same but, thing with the who's the who's the guy that they put on the kingpin buff and just gave him a weird head. That weird guy from the oh, X-Men as well. Um, Shadow King. Shadow King. See, I was never connected to that figure. Either, so I think I completely skipped that storyline. Yeah, no, that, that, means, that means nothing to me, to be honest. Like, when I got the retro Kingpin, I thought, mm -hmm. oh, well, I could make Shadow King with the other one, but nah, I'd just rather have two Kingpins. Yeah, I did the same. Yeah, I was, I was more than happy with that, so... I understand that Sugar Man doesn't hold too much sort of association with you, but at the same time, strong guy, those shoulders, man. Those shoulders on that figure. State of your strong, sculpting, mate. Strong guy, again, was one of those characters that I, I generally thought we would never see the light of day. Um, it's just one of those obscure X-Men characters that kind of, you know, he's, he's just, you know, he's... he's is part of the history, but he's not integrity. He's not integral to it, in my opinion. But the fact that they yeah. gave us the figure and they gave him a proper bath rather than just a regular sort of just big colossus sculpt style thing, they gave us an actual proper bath of him. So I would accept yeah, him it, over Sugar Man any day. It, it, it was good that they did they did do him justice. I I mm -hmm. can appreciate that, and it, it's just I mean, the sculpting leaves a lot to be desired. I mean, I think we can say that. And standing him up, I mean, look, look the oh, pose that they had. The official pose that they have him in is physically impossible <laughs> to, to stand. When to it stand arrived, the fact that I was able to get Polaris to sit on his arm like the uh, comic book art, oh, that the... took so long to take that photo because he just kept going, he just kept falling every time. Okay. You know, because he's a part of a team and he mm -hmm. makes up a team, and I think he's been in, in, in high demand, I don't mind having strong guy and actually booting sugar man and you can you can have your strong guy all right <laughs> but having said that um i'm not sure if i want to put him at 36 to be honest can we just put him above retro gambit at 42 how about that yeah yeah i'll accept it with 42 all right okay because also like, i find the he looks very plasticky like all the yellow like mm. yellow top yellow zip yellow buckle like it's it's like oh you guys kind of scrimped on that i feel to be um, fair, when they made the entire X Force wave, they went with that yellow and blue color scheme so that they could just literally change the heads and hands and <laughs> kit bash the crap out of them themselves. Well, it worked. <laughs> yeah, we are bought them all. Okay, now this is this is a, an interesting one, and actually, you won't get any any uh, your disagreement mm -hmm. from me. Uh, Spider Verse Spider Gwen, dude, that is mm -hmm. a fantastic figure. Yeah, yeah, I I got to admit, I probably could easily have put her on, on on my list so yeah man talk about an upgrade from the original gwen stacy yeah yeah that spider-verse version was just beautiful um i'm so glad they made it with the proper like with the haircut and everything because she actually spotted that in the comics for quite some time um, yeah i thought so so yes for, for me she fits as both the spider-verse version and just the spider gwen for me she is my spider yeah. gwen go-to figure now well, that's kind of my annoying thing because I I sold my Spider Verse figures because I was like, I need the space, uh, I kind of need the money, and like it's not six one six. You can you know you mm. don't need to have it to have a cl complete collection. But yeah, I only sold her because it was easier to sell a complete Spider Verse set, obviously. Yeah. So it pained me, man. It pained me to sell her and keep my ugly ass original Spider Gwen figure, which is not a good figure at all. So. Uh, yeah, Spider-Verse, Spider-Gwen, 
absolute easy to put above strong guy. No problem there. Uh, okay. But what what might be uh, a little tricky is that. Uh, oh, actually, I need to delete that uh, retro wasp there and cosmic ghost rider from your list because we're working our way through those. All right. So yeah, I have got bullseye on my list and you don't have bullseye, which seems kind of bonkers because bullseye is amazing. Mm, yeah, he's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think good to be honest. I, he's, on I my shelf. Have... he's on my shelf. He's definitely on damn, my shelf. damn right. He should be on your shelf. He's, he's, he's a great figure. I think, look, in fairness, I've got more sort of um, a connection to Bullseye because he was one of the final, like, Grail-type figures to get hold of. And I know that's not really what a Grail is, but you know what I mean. <laughs> he, he, he was a Grail in as much as it was a Grail to find him for a price that yeah. I was willing to pay. And, yeah, look at that unmasked head sculpt. The fact that they actually carved the mm. Bullseye into his forehead, like... That that's a badass head sculpt right there. I see I, on my display. I haven't I haven't got that sculpt on. I've got the the hooded head, I've and rightly so because any any collector worth his salt is going to have a Dark Avengers display where you use that head on a Hawkeye body. Am I right or am I right? I don't have Dark Avengers. <laughs> well, I guess that's one more point for moral behavior. <laughs> that I I I think that this figure definitely. I mean. I, I think he absolutely deserves a place on on mm -hmm. the list. But I, where where would you if I if I'm gonna stamp my feet and cry to have him on on the list? I'll let you sort of choose a position for up. him. We can even. I would let you put him at four. I don't think he's okay. worthy of any higher, but I think four is okay. Okay, okay. Um, you want to try to argue it? Go for it. I don't think you can argue it. No, 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 no. I'm, 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 I'm happy. I'm happy with that. I'll take. I'll telling me to get X twenty three out of there. What is going on? X. There's no love for X twenty three. Yes, yes, people. I was gonna say that X twenty three. Really, really, yeah. Ash. X twenty three. She's a part Why? of my X force line. Laura, you need her in the X force. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, but to, that's to make X force. But as a figure, as a standalone figure, like. I don't know. I, I, I recently I bought the I bought the um the X23 omnibus the other day. I've got the actual full comic book history in one big bo in one big book. Um, like, for the, her as the well. character's cool. The the character the character is definitely cool. I love the whole Wolverine family with uh, her and Dakin and Honey Badger. I think that's uh, that's a really fun kind of setup. But I don't know, man. Like, what's what's special about the figure? You know. Because everyone always, when the thing about X23, everyone always goes for the Wolverine costumed X23, and I never liked her in the yellow and blue. I thought that that's Logan's colors. Don't try and take that. I liked yeah. I liked her traditional black and gray, the way she looked in the comics for the longest time. Um, you know, what? In, in fairness, I, actually, I'm looking at, I'm looking at her now, and she is quite a nice figure, isn't she? <laughs> I I actually swapped the head. I don't use because in the in the comics for the longest time, she didn't have the mask, so I don't even I have the unmasked head. On there because that's how I see Laura from you know the, as that figure. That's how I see her. So does does this figure come with an unmasked head or who who does the unmasked head come with? It was a reused face sculpt, I think, but I can't remember who, who it's from. Okay, okay. Myself, well, even even though the fact that you display her with a head that she doesn't come with, which is <laughs> kind of yeah, all, all all sorts of wrong. Like I said, I. I I tell you what, like she, I, I, I like the buckles on her boots, like the extra mm -hmm. detail there. It is, it is, it is a nice figure. It is, it is a nice figure. We're gonna have to start making some difficult choices at, at, at some point, but all right, I'll, I'll put her on the list and we'll see what happens. But she's all I'm, all I'm saying, Ash, she's on thin ice. All right, <laughs> the unmasked head, she's... the unmasked head actually came with the uh, blue and yellow. Okay, so al already you're doing a retro rogue as well, and you're justifying <laughs> the figure with a different head. This is man, you you are you are painting outside the lines right now, <laughs> but you know I'll allow it because I'm uh, I'm I'm gracious like like that. Um, also, because I put Nimrod on the list, and what are your thoughts on this figure? Because obviously you don't have him on yours at all. I'm not a fan of Nimrod in general. I, I bought the set just, and I did that whole buyer's remorse thing straight away. I basically did what what what, what Brian did in his video today, if he's still in the chat. I basically went, oh, everyone else is buying him. I need to own this set. 
and I bought that set, and then I instantly went, mm. I basically bought it for a repainted version of Psylocke. <laughs> Yeah, I, I can I can totally appreciate that because that those other characters did look good and I was one hundred percent. I just thought I just wanted to jump back onto our streaming window here just to take 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 a look at uh, how many views we got and what's going on. Good to see everyone here. That's really awesome. Um, yeah, I maybe got a little bit of bias remorse from Nimrod as well. That was mm -hmm. you get you get caught up in the hoopla, don't you? Mm -hmm. You do. You, you get caught. You get caught up in the hoopla and the hubbub. And look, uh, he's not a bad figure. He's he's fun, but certainly, especially for the price that he originally came out in that three pack, and the fact that he's now pretty much on sale. Yeah, and you do realize that we're both going to regret saying this in a few years' time when all the you know the powers of X, all the rest of the wave comes out. And we get all the other little figures that go with him, and and then everyone's like, "Oh, you haven't got him on your display." <laughs> That's all twenty years ago. <sighs> Well, no, I do. I do still have mine because I like the idea of having the, all the Sentinels. But then, then I, I might sell my powers of X or well, my House of X wave. So I don't know. I am torn. But I mean, he is a he's a pretty, he's a really pretty looking character. But I don't know. I tell you what, I will, I as will take him off. I, I will yeah, take him off a, and I'll put him in me, the maybes. For me, as a figure that was a character aside, there was nothing new about that. There was no new fancy articulation. They didn't do anything overly special with him. It was just a brick with a good face that everybody loved, fell in love with. There was nothing well, I mean, new about him, really. Well, I mean, everything was new sculpting wise. No, I, I, don't, I don't mean. I mean, like, I mean, I mean, in the forms of like articulation, or you know, they didn't do anything new ground with him. Is what I'm trying to say. I understand. I'm with you. I'm with you. Okay. No, it, I'm. I'm not. I'm not like thrilled about taking him off the list because he is such a unique figure but also yeah there is it's a real it's a real love hate kind of thing so i'll, I'll i'm happy for him to go in the maybes but yeah, at least got a, now you've got a heck can... of a lot of uh, spider villains to get on this list and to beg for later on so we need to move <laughs> we do i was getting quite liberal with the spider-man ones but also you've just got some random ass characters <laughs> <laughs> which we will we will discuss but let's go to one that we have more common ground with which is the retro green goblin which we can both agree is a gorgeous figure Yes, it is. It is beautiful. So, I've, I've I've got both the um you know the the, the regular wave version as well the, the darker painted variant. I've, I've got a wave that's from yes, uh, but I've got that one yeah. as well, and I do prefer the retro Green Goblin. As yeah, nice it, uh, he's, version he's looks. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's got that. Yeah, I, I love color. the the Norman Osborn head as well. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. yeah, so so yeah, we could we can easily. Easily put put this look look at that cra the crazy grin. I know a lot of people weren't fond of the huge big pupils, but I think when you've got them on the shelf, it it kind of pops off more. So there's so much to enjoy with that. So I thought you you know you you give him you give him his dues, but he's not terribly high. I think my uh, my retro goblin's only a couple of spaces higher. So I tell you what, yeah, I would be I'd be happy to put retro goblin. In there at number thirty-eight because that's kind of a compromise between our two, our two choices. So that that yeah. works quite well. And all right, we're getting some structure here. I'm um, I'm liking this. So next up again, you're an X Man fan, dude, but you haven't got Archangel Deluxe Archangel. What's what's going on with that? I've got the original Archangel, so I never bothered with the deluxe with the deluxe one. Um, but eh, I don't like I don't like the figure in general. The wings do my head in. They constantly fall off. Um, I find posing him to be your wings pain. fall off. Interesting. Yeah, mine fall off all the time. Like the back, the back. I've got the very old one. Bear in mind, uh, it is the same figure essentially, but the my mine is very old now by comparison. Yeah, it's it's <laughs> interesting though because because sometimes I think that they change really subtle little things because yeah, it's like do. because you know like Falcon and Vulture have the same wings. Yet my Vulture wings fall out all the time and my falcon ones are solid as a rock so i don't know if they update like a tiny little bit of sculpting but either way it can make a huge difference and for me they they gave this they've given us now what two or three versions of angel uh, of archangel and only one yeah. of original angel we need the proper original angel from the uncanny x-men for me not this you want you want feather yet. wings angel i do i need some well, feather wings angel you do, like i mean for for later consideration would you would you consider actually le letting well, my archangel squeeze on the end of the list and bump forge off 
Ooh. Because there's a look at the figure though. Look at what is going on. You got four heads. You got these huge big wings, which in my case at least are uh, tight as a drum. Go on, I like seven. All right, okay, okay. See, I <laughs> I might be I might be playing myself here because you, you I'm gonna want to call on figures later, and you'd be like, nah, uh, uh, <laughs> nah, uh, uh. <laughs> so the first rule: don't play yourself. Okay, uh, what am I, Dennis Nedry? Well, was, that, was, that secret, <laughs> was that a secret fat joke? Oh, no, I didn't know. <laughs> Absolutely not. Ah, this is the magic word. Ah. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> I hate this hack of crap. No, I just wanted to. I just wanted to start referencing Jurassic Park because it's awesome. <laughs> I love oh, that. Dude. I did not. <laughs> do not put words into my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to at least make the hour before we resort to petty name calling. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's 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 shake this off by me by me berating you for having Blue Beast on the list and not Grey Beast. <laughs> Every everyone and excuse me while I talk for everyone in the world, which is what I'm good at. Everyone hates the Blue Beast head sculpt. It's not Beast. <laughs> it's angry cat person. It's not Beast. Okay, I'll, I, as you've booted some off the list so far, and I've only had the one removed from the list, I'll accept Blue Beast being booted from the list. All right. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. I, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. And in his place, how about Jubilee? With a bubble gum and a sunglasses? Yeah, yeah there we go. I'm cool with that. Little Jubilee. She's like number 38. Uh, 39, 39. Yes, number 30. Yeah, well, she was at my 39, and she's actually now moved up to number 37. Who's at 39 so on our consolidated list, then? Uh, oh, no, no. On our, consol oh, on our consolidated list is X23. Ah, we do. okay, then that's fine by me. Yeah, accept that. All, right. <laughs> All right. Yeah, no, no more compromises need to be made. Although, actually, <laughs> this is this is an interesting one. They're not, they're not perfectly aligned, but you have... Tiger Stripe Wolverine, hmm. and I have Bone Claw Wolverine, almost in identical places. I've got Bone Claw Wolverine at 37. You've got Tiger Stripe at 38. I'm saying there's no point in having both of them. No. Why should we get rid of yours? <laughs> <laughs> why Why Bone Wolverine? Is Aren't they both in the yellow and blue? Aren't they both in the same costume, just one's got bone? Yes. Yes. All right. Yes, they are. I I exactly. So just my one just comes with the bone claws extras, which is a fun choice to have. <laughs> Go on then. We'll accept bone claws. Hey. Yeah, we'll do that. <laughs> All right. It, uh, come on. Bone well, also, I mean, you know, we have I like, so admittedly, many... admittedly, I bought that entire box set for the bone claws. <laughs> that is why come I on then. What are you doing? I already had, I already had like that. several other Jean Greys, and I also had like Two, I, I had like two Cyclopses at that point. So I was like, I don't really need the the Jean Grey and Cyclops other than to complete my Jim you know, my Jim Lee line. Um, so I want, I wanted the Bone Claws more than anything. <laughs> I, can, claws, I, I can appreciate that because let, let's face it, in everyone's fodder box across the land, we have ten thousand Wolverine metal claws. But <laughs> really finally, to actually have Wolverine Bone Claws, that's that's really good fun. I would be so happy if they did a. The, the only problem is that we only have the gloved version of the Bone Claws. I'd love like just the normal hand, but that's some fantasy booking for another time. So we're doing well. We're we're approaching kind of the halfway sort of mark, or at least getting there without without too much um, <laughs> too many strong words or harsh <laughs> language exchanged. But we do have now uh, on coming up on my list, Moon Knight, which is a figure that I think is just so beautiful in its simplicity. But you don't seem to share that opinion. I'm not a fan of Moon Knight at all. Um, that, that's a really unpopular opinion. I just don't like Moon Knight. I never have done. It is, man. You're, you're swimming against the tide here. You know, I am. I'm, 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 I'm probably my, the only person going to say this, but I'm just, I've, I've never read a Moon Knight comic. To be fair, I've never really looked looked into Moon Knight. He's always been there, but I'm just like, yeah, I'm really not bothered. There's some, you get some ancient power from a sphinx or something. <laughs> something, right. something like that. To be honest, I'm not a huge fan of Moon Knight in the comics, but the really? figure is just he's so pretty. It's bright white. I'm looking up at him now. He's got his his moon sickles in his in his you know hand, and I I feel I I don't think I can I don't want to leave him off the list. Especially he's he's got the other head sculpt as well. But you know, I got to admit. I, I tell you what, I, I, I'm because I'm the big man here. I'm willing to bump one of my two on the bottom 
But but who do you think who do you think deserves to be on the list more, Sunfire or Archangel? Um, probably Sunfire over Archangel for me personally. Okay, in that case, I'm gonna take Moon Knight. What I was, what I was gonna say was because he's on oh. my list, on my list, kind of the next thing on my list, what is is it Cyclops? Are we talking about now? Is it's Cyclops, Sunfire? yeah. I'd probably go with Moon Knight over Cyclops. I, I would accept that on a on on a figure level. Not a character, okay, but on a figure level, I would accept Moon Knight because he came with more accessories. That's a that's a very fair compromise because sometimes you just got to sort of exchange figures that are kind of like just similar mm -hmm. type of figures. And out of interest, was that regular Cyclops or Jacket Cyclops? Regular Cyclops. The regular, regular Cyclops. Yeah, so, I mean, this yeah. guy, you, you, Moon Knight does come with a lot more accessories and he was more hotly anticipated when he came out. A lot of people did get excited right. for it and that's why I bought it. I, I, I did buy it on the back of a lot of people <laughs> telling me how good it was. Do you still have him, or have you sold him on now? I know he's still in. He's still in the box, which is under my desk, along with the figures. Oh. <laughs> Pride of place under the desk. Under the <laughs> desk in a box. Okay, next next on my list we have twenty fifth anniversary Deadpool, and I think the whole this package as a whole looks really nice with the the different with with the card backing looks lovely comes in the white box which i think is actually overkill mm -hmm. but there you go um but yeah he's got his his uh his his machine pistol his machine gun he's got his removable swords the beautiful chrome kind of black it's a nice, nice. looking figure dude yeah you, you're just not a fan no um i i i went with i was thinking i was also trying when i was when i was making this list i was trying not to have because if, if I did make my true list of what I thought was my favorite figures of all time, there would be several Wolverines, several Deadpools. So I tried to limit the amount of each character I had on there. And I went with movie yeah. Deadpool as my oh, Deadpool you... figure of choice. That's your Deadpool. Okay. I went with movie that is... Deadpool. That, have you got that is a Deadpool's nice on Deadpool. Your list, or is that the only Deadpool you've got on your list? That's my one and only Deadpool. But okay. I... I wouldn't mind. I, I've never actually had the movie Deadpool in hand, but he does look like a really good figure. So I wouldn't mind doing a little swap ski for that. But what I was going to say was, would we, would we, see, here's the thing. Would we accept, would we go with movie Deadpool or the more classic 25th Deadpool? We well, see, I'm I'm not an MCU guy so much, so I really don't I'm have not. any love for MCU. Oh, well, in that case. My list dude. as well, I hope you've noticed, is, is very lacking in MCU. Oh, I'm absolutely. Not this guy. this whole this whole thing would have would have would have been really awkward and not much fun <laughs> if my list was all six one six and yours was all MCU. It'd be like, well, <laughs> we're not going to agree on this because <laughs> I'm not an MCU collector by any means. I've I collect very few and far between figures, should we say in that line? Um, Excellent. Yeah, okay. I would I would ha I would happily accept the twenty fifth Deadpool over movie Deadpool. So if you want to put, I tell you what, there you go. We Deadpool have found next. we have found some common ground and understanding in uh, our mutual agreement that six one six is way better than MCU figures. Am I right? Am I right? Okay, that's great. So this one is interesting. Next up, you've got on your list Havoc from the two pack. Yeah. That's it. Is a two pack one, yeah? Yeah, the jacket. All right. Why is it? Is it the jacket? Is it the jacket that does this? Yeah, and the fact. It, that version of both Polaris and him was very much the comics I grew up with. That was the era, the, the X Force era I kind of grew up with, and the New Mutants and stuff. That was kind of my my go to books. And yeah, I liked the jacket. I thought he looked cool in the jacket when he was always in the onesie kind of thing in the original X Men. I was like, mm, you know, you just a rip off Scott Summers. But then when they gave him his cool jacket and his flicky little hairdo, I was like, yeah, you're cool. There he is. Yeah, yeah I it 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 took me a while to kind of um sort of cotton on to buying this two pack at all because I always saw it in store and I thought that looks really nice, but I don't want to fall down that X Men rabbit hole. And of course I have now, and I'm collecting all the teams. <laughs> but I've actually got I've got a lot better as a collector recently, where I started to just get more sort of zen and accept that sometimes your team just won't be complete and you don't have to spend silly money on on a multiple man you know it's like it's fine just it is what it is dave and i'm managing to accept that so i could still have x factor with havoc and polaris both of them look great next to each other so yeah i'm happy to have ultra 90s havoc mm -hmm. on the list no cool. problem with that yeah that's a that's a great great looking figure there so, all right, well, that's Havoc taken care of. And we both have, oh, let me just uh, put that back there. We both have Retro Doom 
on our lists. Yeah. Which I was kind of surprised about because I put Retro Doom on my list thinking that you would put the modern Doom because most people seem to prefer the modern Doom. So I was like, oh, well, I'll go Retro Doom and we can debate it. But actually, <laughs> yeah, we both agree that the bright, colorful Doom is the superior Doom. Because I think, as as we both kind of agreed, we're both the comic book guys, so I think that more pastely green is what he looks like in the comic books. It was never dark green until later on. Back yeah, in the yeah. Secret Wars and all the others, it was it was very lime green colors that they used. I, I completely agree, and I'm not uh, I'm not a cloth accessories person, but I do love just the tiny little bit of cloth that just it just breaks things up, makes it more mm -hmm. interesting, more tactile. Um, my only. My only sort of caveat, though, is that you've got him relatively low. I, I would like Retro Doom to be higher. I would okay. definitely like him. Uh, <laughs> I, I I would say number nine, if you're asking, uh, or maybe maybe that is a little a little bit high. But I would I would put him above 80th Hulk, which I think we can both agree with, because you don't even why, like 80th why Hulk. Much. Go, why why don't we go with number eleven? Number eleven. Okay, excellent. That is a that is a good place for Retro Doom. Because, yeah, that's just a lovely figure. And I cannot wait to see what the Retro Fantastic Four wave is going to look like later this year. Yes. We maybe maybe, got... maybe your boy here might be doing the reveal. You never <laughs> yeah. know. You never know. If, if Hasbro just don't watch a couple of my videos, <laughs> they might decide I'm okay. <laughs> no, All right. Admittedly, admittedly, they're actually very good, and the the team, especially Dan, you and stuff, they do say to be yourself and to be honest, because that is one thing they don't like is when you're overly fake with it, because people can tell. And I've, especially, yeah. if, I'm not sure if you saw my review of Mastermind, but I was quite open in the fact that I said it is basically a new head sculpt. <laughs> that is literally <laughs> all we're getting here. It's just a yeah. painted black jacket with a with a head sculpt, and they didn't say a thing. I made that video and I sent it off for acceptance. And I was I was I was waiting for the email back saying, "Could you be a little bit more energetic with that?" And like, no, no changes needed. They were happy with it. Dan Dan, you were said, "No, it's fine. It's your it's your honest opinion." I was like, so I respected that that they wanted the honest opinion from from a collector. So that's great. That's really great. Well, hey, look, there's still there's yourself. still chances for, for for model behavior. All right. So on my list, I've got Apocalypse, the build a yes. figure Apocalypse. Okay, I yep. was really torn as well because I was very tempted to put the Age of Apocalypse one, but I thought, you know, classic, classic 616. You didn't have them at all, but I've got a sneaky feeling that you do like this figure. I love the figure. I was just, I was trying, I was struggling to see a, a balance between a list of baths and a list of figures. So it could have easily been a whole list of baths for me, this, this, but. Um, oh, yeah. But yeah, I could, I could definitely accept Apocalypse being on this list for sure. There's definitely figures right. I would kick off for him, so. In, in that case, uh, I, I can happily... Uh, are, are you good for him to go... Well, yeah. Are you happy for him to go at number 32, just above Havoc? Yes. Yeah, yeah. All right. Now, while we're sort of moving moving things around here, I, I mean, I'm I'm not saying we absolutely have to, but do you think Cyborg Spider-Man is a bit high? Or do you think he, he deserves the, the high placement? I noticed... Because just because there are a lot of good figures that are placing below Cyborg <laughs> Spider-Man... Where where whereabouts are we thinking of swapping him to? I, I don't know. I mean, maybe maybe not even you know not even changing any placements here, but maybe maybe just just bringing Cyborg down a bit so that we've got a lot of good figures that haven't made the list at all yet, and I feel like he's he's ranking very high, and there are going to be better figures that end up being below him. Mm -hmm. So I mean, just I'm I'm just spitballing here that maybe we put him just one above Cosmic Ghost Rider. Yes, yeah, so he's at thirty-one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, oh, oh uh, yeah, yeah. I actually know. I, I tell you what, I'll be uh, sort of nicer than that because he is—he he is a great figure. I'll put—I'll put him, uh, you know, like better than Cosmic Ghost Rider. So number twenty-nine. Okay. Yeah. 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 There we go. All right. All right. So you've got Red Skull, and I didn't—I was typing so quickly, I didn't see which version of Red Skull it is. Wh right, who, who is that? It's the Tesseract Red Skull, so it's the one that I that is from the SDCC pack. Oh, Reed Skull, that's not what we're looking for. Okay, <laughs> yeah, again, I'm not overly familiar. That That's mm. MCU, is it? That is an MCU Red Skull, but you can't. It's Red Skull, isn't it? It doesn't look overly at MCU, to be fair. I, I used the MCU one because I thought it looked more like the actual Red Skull. <laughs> and I yeah, didn't absolutely. Find... Oh, yeah, when they did I, the 80th I, I the version... One. Yeah, when they did the 80th version, I don't know. Is the cape seemed a little bit longer 
and I wasn't oh, sorry a little bit too short. Sorry, not longer. And I liked the longer trench on him. It was it felt yeah. more military, especially for like the officer rank in, in that era. You know, that's general, that's cool. I can I can see that, and I I totally agree. There are there are some MCU figures that you can 100 percent put in the 616, and it works. Mm -hmm absolutely fine and red skull is definitely one of them and uh yeah like, especially like some of the the new the new mcu ones that are coming out like mm. iron monger and um who's the big fiery guy from thor ragnarok what's his name Serta. Serta. Oh, yeah, Serta. yeah those guys could easily be put in a 616 so if ever i was going to be tempted to get mcu it would be one of those you know uh, people but... are buying Serta so they can take the head off it and attach it to thor's back right Oh, yeah, absolutely. And why the heck not? That looked amazing. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I'm i not a huge fan of this Red Skull figure. Um, okay. I, I think that the, the head, I, I'm, I, I don't I, think it looks great, but it is relatively high on your list. So, Admittedly, if the new Red Skull was out by now and it was in hand, it would have been, on that, it would have been that one. Because as, soon as, I, as yeah. soon as I get that green Red Skull, he's, he's going on the shelf and that guy's getting booted to the draw. I say... I tell you what, because this is this is my show and I'm making it up as I go along. We we can put villain villain wave red skull. Put, let's go for that then. We don't have him in hand, but we know we know. Oh, as soon as they announced him, I was like, yeah, I like that figure. Regardless, of, it, it, it's the green it's the green suited red skull. That's the classic red skull. Yeah, so, he is. Yeah, he's he's terrific. Okay, well, we've got a, we've got a couple of baths head to head now. We we've got the lizard bath against mr hyde we've got we got quite an old bath against quite well the newest bath at the moment for for the different waves that have come out and i do love mr hyde he is he is a great figure isn't he he is he's a beautiful figure and they've made him so well with all the hair and stuff that they've kind of got gone with there and the fingernails all about long, like elongated and stuff yeah yeah Very and good. the like the the eyes and the the, the gums and like rrr, it's it is a really really great uh expression and uh, let's see if I can just bring him up here. So uh, I just don't uh, think all the fans people, watching at home. I don't think enough people know who he is, though. <laughs> yeah, that's that's very very it's true just because he's a Marvel character. Yeah, it, it's always it's always really funny when um, comic books use literary characters. I mean, I know that this character isn't the actual Mister Hyde from literature, but he can't. He pretty much is. It's Doctor Jekyll and Mister Hyde, him, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Um, but but yeah, so he's not that well known. We probably won't. Has he been in like any of the TV shows? I can imagine him being in like Agents of Shield or something. But see, he's been in Agents of Shield, but he looked nothing like. It was yeah. the most atrocious version of him ever. <laughs> That's okay. No one watches that. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, you know what? I I do like the Lizard Bath, and to be honest, I think I probably wanted to include him because he probably is the figure that I've paid the most for as far <laughs> as Marvel Legends go. But at the same time, I totally appreciate that. A lot of people don't like him. They don't like the legs. They don't like the head sculpt. And they don't like the tail. So there's a lot going against that figure. So honestly, I would be willing to take him out of the running entirely. And we can have uh, Mr. Hyde go on the list there. Yeah. For me, yeah, Liz, Mr. Hyde I'm, is great. I'm still waiting for a, a lizard that we can actually pose properly. Not a bath, but like a deluxe. Where you can actually get him to do the poses he does on like the animated series or in the books, where you can get him on all like literally on the floor with his paw. And, like he, he did that like alligator pose in the comics for me, where he's like on all fours, yeah. looking up. And we've never been able to do that with the, with, with the bath. No, it's all. true. It looks it's true. And something like that would look would look great. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, for me personally, I I love Dino Lizard, but I know that there are a lot of flaws. And when a figure leaves a lot of collectors like still wanting then mm -hmm. yeah yeah you got to make tough decisions so i don't mind i don't mind taking him off but one that is definitely going to have to make the cut and actually i can see now as we're getting into the 30s this is where it's going to start <laughs> to get really tough because these are the figures that we don't want to lose but we might have to then bump some other ones uh off because yeah we'll see how we go retro mysterio that is a beautiful figure right there there it is um I don't think it made my list. I'm not. I, I'm not overly a big spider guy. Yeah. So some of the some of them I was like, Neh. like it is a nice figure. Well, I mean, it was a lot better than the original release. The the, the newer retro one was so much nicer than the original. 
Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I just think the 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 different the 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 gold paint on there, sort of the wash, uh, the 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 smoky kind of effects. Yeah, uh, it it really really is uh, so, terrific. So, I would say definitely we we could put him next on the list because um, we've obviously kicked kicked off my the movie Deadpool now. Yes, yes, and I'm so I'm certainly I'm, I'm looking him. down my list and I'm thinking. There's a few figures I could probably be willing to to part with. So Mysterio is secure, I think. Yes. Uh, going going on on the list there, I'm quite happy that he stays there and actually has gone up slightly. So that that's nice to see. And this is where we might have to start getting a bit brutal, maybe <laughs> because I'm gonna have to ask you to, to justify movie Venom. Everyone goes nuts for movie Venom. I think he's a bit of a Nimrod. So Movie Venom for me, when they brought him out, I did look at that figure and go, it, it looks very weird. But then I got him in hand and I posed him and he is, we've never had a Venom that's been overly taller than Spider-Man and Venom should always be bigger than Spider-Man. But Monster Venom for me was always too ridiculously big. Yeah, great yeah figure, I agree. He's ridiculous. Whereas the Movie Venom was a night in between. He was taller, but still human sized, but bigger. So it looked yeah. like Eddie Brock to me. It, it, it towered over the nerdy Spider-Man, if that made sense. You got the Absolutely. You know, he's, quite, he's quite a thin acrobatic guy, and then you got the big bulky Venom, but it made him look realistic in proportion. So I kind of like that. I can I can totally see that. I, I think di you know a difficulty for me is that some of the things that I don't like are uh, things that are actually, you know that is what the character looks like. So I can't really fault it because it's accurate. It's like, but I, you know, I, don't, I don't like the eyes. I think they, they're like very kind of close together. And, you know, mm -hmm. it, he obviously from the movie, he lacks the spider symbol and stuff. So whenever I see him, I see the things that I don't like about him as, a, as opposed to the things that I do. But I do accept that like he is a, he's, he's a big, a big buck, which is, which is impressive. And uh, I actually also really like the kind of like the the texture of him because he's not mm. smooth, is he? No, he's uh, not. It's it, almost like a, it's like a like a shark kind of hide, mm -hmm. which is uh, that that is pretty cool. So I'm kind of talking myself into into liking him a bit more. Which, um, which venom have you got on your list? Or have you not got it? I'm trying to look down your list now. Of what's left? I actually, amazingly, I don't have a venom on my list because I don't wow. feel we've got a perfect venom. No, yeah, we haven't I, yet. I I love exactly. I love love the absorbing man venom. I think he's great with with the lashing tongue and the green mm -hmm. drool and stuff. He's great, but as everyone says, needs to be a bit bigger. A bit bigger. That's yeah. difficulty. They, they either go overboard and make him ridiculous, or they make him too small. There's no in between. Yeah. So uh, I know, and they they have so many bucks that would work well for 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 you know an ideal kind of venom, and they just don't use them. And it's like, come on, guys, it's it's staring you in the face. So yeah, I I'm happy to I put would... movie venom on there so that he at least has mm -hmm. some representation. Okay, okay. I was gonna say I was because I have got monster venom later on. And you do have monster venom, yeah. What I was gonna say was if we if we were, if you've not got any venoms on there. I would then pit them two against each other. Yeah, that's a good way of looking at it. But with that being the case, then I would totally go Monster Venom. Yeah, I would as well. I, I, as much as I love the, the movie Venom for what it stands for, what it is, Monster Venom, when it did come out, was the figure that made me go, oh my God, that's amazing. And I'm like, that <laughs> he is hours. amazing. Especially is the amazing. deluxe. And I'm guessing we're, we're both talking about the deluxe version, not the bath. Oh yes, deluxe. Yeah, with the with the proper actual logo, <laughs> with the proper logo. Well, again, that's the problem <laughs> with with the bath, and that's where the bath is frustrating because the bath is a fantastic Mac Gargan Venom, and that's mm -hmm. why he's so much bigger because that's Mac Gargan Venom is that size. But then the problem with that is that the Mac Gargan Venom in the comics is supposed to have like like smaller eyes inside his white eyes, and they. Yeah. They didn't do that. So every time you look at it, you're like, it, it, it's like Jim Bowen used to, used to say on Bullseye. No, no, it wasn't Bullseye. It was catchphrase where he'd say, it's good, but it's not right. <laughs> Roy Walker, that was it. There you go. Ah, uh, Saturday afternoon catchphrase. Right. So Monster Venom is on number 26. So we are pretty much slap bang halfway through the list. We Just over an hour. I hope you're all comfortable there. So we've got a long way to go. And there are a lot of a lot of figures we're going to have to throw out. So, with that in mind, we were discussing Nuke earlier, but we didn't actually do anything with him. You're you're really not convinced by Nuke at all, are you? No. 
Not at all. I'm really not. I'm really sorry. I'm really okay. I as you can see, I, I placed Nuke pretty high. He was right in the middle, but you know what? I will. I'll remove Nuke entirely, which is which is tough to do. But with that in mind, <laughs> Ash, with that in mind, Morbius, really? Yeah, well, I've gone for the new version of Morbius as well. This that, may that be is more... controversial. I know. Um, this may be more. I know. I know. It's definitely controversial. I love. I love Morbius. I do. I um, always liked the um, the the Spider Man animated series episodes with Blade and Morbius. And ah, I where he's up... like, I need plasma. Plasma. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> because they couldn't have him sucking blood on television. Um, yeah, because, because because little little sucky mouths on your hand is not nightmare fuel. No, it's all, not terrifying at all, is it? <laughs> yeah. And um, yeah, I always liked the character, and the, with the movie coming out, I like the figure. But I can see why up against up against all the other figures, and we've got this far in the list. I could I could accept kicking him off if if. if. Or you know you could always kick off one of one of uh, the later figures. You can see on the screen. Uh, I hope you can see on the screen if it's not too small. Uh, where our figure list stands. You know, at the bottom we've got Sunfire, Archangel, Colossus, Colossus Retro Wasp, Cable, Stanley. I was gonna say I was happy. I'm happy to kick him off. If we can discuss getting the cuckoos on this list, oh, you know what? Actually, yeah, all right. Because I would okay. accept okay. three cuckoo girls over Morbius any day, and I think anyone would agree to that. All right, I'm not a huge fan of the cuckoos, but I do <gasps> appreciate the cuckoos. Three different, and I'm sure that Hasbro appreciate the cuckoos too. Three different well, characters on one figure. They yeah, love same that. with them. Um, same with what they did with the uh, the the New Mutants why they did that yeah but anyway absolutely. for me as well the thing is with the cuckoos they basically made them to go with the um emma, emma frost at the time was the black queen emma frost so they went with her to go with that lovely piece of artwork that they did for the comics yeah. that's the only reason they chose those those books but actually if you take the cuckoos and use the new mutants bodies that's more accurate for me Okay, that's actually that. You know, I do love the head sculpts because I, I did, I did buy the cuckoos, but not for the cuckoos. So mm. I've got the, I've, I've got the uh, black head head on the on the on the body, and that is my Penny Parker for my Spider Verse. That works yeah, yeah, really yeah. well. She look she really looks good. awesome next to SPDR, which is great. Uh, and then I use the red head. Uh, on my songbird body. I just put a bit of white paint on there and that looks mwah, chef's kiss. That's as far <laughs> as my customizing goes. So yeah, I'm definitely willing to have the cuckoos on, on there. That's not a tough sell at all. Um, and you've got cuckoos. Yeah, you had them at 26. So I will just put cuckoos. They even get one step higher. They get to go uh, on 25 there. And no, I'm, 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 I'm happy with that. Yeah, but unfortunately now... The list is already starting to become a little bit, a little bit unweighted. I, I feel because first of all, we've got to address the kingpin, the last kingpin dude. Before we move on, one thing, by the way, you know, yeah. uh, you know, Morbius. Uh huh. This is the modern Morbius, but if you put yeah. him in this this little black jacket with the little fluty, fluty, fluty bit, it looks Ooh. so much nicer. <laughs> What jacket is that? That does look good. So this was the this is the jacket that was on the Morbius from the nineteen nineties uh, Morbius figure. Oh, I get out of ripped town. it off. I warmed it up, ripped it off, and shoved it on the modern one because it even has the little capy bit and the proper hood and yeah, it just looks so much nicer. And the black actually blends in with the vinyl look they've given the actual costume. Oh, so I tell you what, blends in. That works. That actually works really, really well, man. I, I, tell you what, I, I wish, I wish I had more of my figures in within reach. That's that, that's a shame because yeah, that, that that's fun. It's fun showing them to the camera and doing all this kind of thing. But I hope that guys are enjoying this. We've got nearly a hundred people watching, which is uh, definitely probably uh, a record for my my live stream. So clearly, clearly, my my attempts to glom off your popularity is working. Long may it continue. <laughs> All right, let's get back to this, this list now because we are at the halfway mark and we are addressing Deluxe Kingpin, who is just, he's just such a pretty figure. What, what, what do you think, man? He definitely deserves a place on the list. He does. I definitely, definitely, definitely. Okay, Kingpin that's is a villain. Obviously, he's a Spider Man villain for you. He's a Daredevil villain for me as a Daredevil guy. So I'll accept him on the list, definitely. 
Okay, that's that's great. I didn't think that would be a hard sell. So yeah, <laughs> I'm very happy that that Kingpin. And again, he actually gets to go up the list, which is nice. But again, once we get to to our sort of top tens and we've run out of space, that's when we're going to have to make some tough decisions. But speaking of tough decisions, as much as I do like the figure, I don't mind letting Spider Punk go. Are you even familiar with this go. one? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm familiar with him. I'm just not a fan of that character from the Spider Verse. It just does nothing for me. Yeah, I think I think he's kind of fun and and unique. I mean, like it's it's certainly a a a, a fun kind of reimaginative reimagining of the Spider Man design. Mm -hmm. But yeah, he's he's not too iconic or, or anything. So I don't mind letting Spider Punk go, and that that gives us a bit more bit more wiggle room. We we can, we can be a bit more loosey goosey with some of our choices now. So retro Spidey, do you have retro Spidey on your list? Mm -hmm. I have I have speed I have um who do I have on my list actually? Do I have him on my list? I should have at least one Spider-Man. Oh no, we we both agreed on uh the Spider-Man Pizza Spider-Man. I had him on my list actually. I had that's all oh, right. Re Retro Spider-Man is great, but actually, I mean, since we have Pizza Spider-Man, I'm happy to take retro off. Would you not wanna would you do you prefer the old Pizza Spidey over Retro Spidey. How do you feel about that, though? Uh, honestly, I do prefer Pizza Spidey because he's got more of a 90s look with his big eyes. And also, he's got his wall-crawling hands. Retro mm -hmm. Spider-Man not having the wall-crawling hands was a, a real, you know, swing and a miss, basically. Yeah. And also, the fact that, like, something I don't like about Pizza Spider-Man, which you can see on Spider-Punk, is the red pins, which looks really bad. But mm. I accept it on Pizza Spider-Man. But then five years later, we get an updated Spider-Man and he still has the red pins. That's mm -hmm. that's a real shame. So even though the mechanics of the figure with the nice torso swivel and stuff, it's a good figure. But no, nah, I think he's got too much going against him. I don't mind taking him off. Mm -hmm. Happy with that. All right. Would you want to bring, as because this is our going to be our only Spider-Man on this list by the looks of things. Yeah, I think he might so be. I so are you well, we, 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 got, we got Cyborg Spider-Man too. We do. Uh, different Spider-Man technically, isn't it? He is, different, he is. So we got Spider-Man. We're talking Spider -Man six six. 44. Yeah, but we're speaking of, of Peter Parker here. Iconic Peter Parker. Yeah. Do we need to agree that our Peter Spider needs to be down from 44 to a little bit higher in the list, being that he is Peter Parker and the only one we've got on the list? I'm willing to do that, especially... Bear in mind that regardless of what d debates and discussions we might oh wait sorry my um my headphones just ran out of juice so i'm gonna <laughs> hopefully uh you won't be let, let me just go and and keep these charging actually while these are charging um if you could give the folks uh, a little rundown of numbers 50 to whatever i whatever you're at when i come back which won't be a second well, it's my show now, guys. <laughs> David Blaze Model Behavior is now Super Sorrel's channel. Actually, let's take a look at the chat, guys. We've not really done much with you guys so far, so let's have a look. How did they kick Retro Spidey off? Um, we, we haven't yet. We, well, we did, but yeah. yeah. We can only have one Spider-Man, and I think I think the, the older one is better. Uh, David as Wanderer should be on the list. Uh, Wanderer mm, is... Mm, no way. Ah, was was a lot of people are upset with us. A lot of people are upset with us, Dave. <laughs> All right. Actually, since, since we're probably half halfway through the uh, stream, um, if, if, if we if, if we do take a little look at, at the chat, how's everybody doing, folks? People we're... are very upset with us right now for kicking off Retro Spider-Man. We're, uh, we're <laughs> our names are now mud on the YouTube uh, scene. We now have to close down our channels and give back our geek cards. Geek Damn it. Cards. I, well, I made, I made it <laughs> over a year. <laughs> <laughs> I, I made it over a year before absolutely destroying my career. So there, there we go. But what, uh, I'm, what I'm going to say is, I was going to say the Spider-Man Pizza Spider-Man, I'm happy to put him at 23 and leave 44 blank for a, a debate figure later on. Oh, okay. I like that. That's a little bit saucy. Okay, so <laughs> 23 can go Pizza Spider-Man. 
that's probably one of the oldest figures that's going to be quite quite high but rightly so he is he is mm -hmm. great and yeah talking about you know making uh making sacrifices i'm willing to to drop white rabbit even though we can probably Thank agree she is the a great lord figure. she's a beautiful <laughs> figure and every easter i dig her out for a photo opportunity but other than that she sits in the box yeah, I, I I'm I'm a big big fan. I I love the Alice in Wonderland kind of motif and uh, the kind of the kind of the gimmick. It is great, but yeah, she she doesn't bring too much to the table as, as a figure. And um, I think her face sculpt is lovely, but at the same time, it's so mm -hmm. blank and neutral. Yeah, for she, me, I always struggled cool. with who to stand her with, other than Spider Man. Where else does she fit? I was I was looking like where who who is whose villain is that really? She yeah, it? she it, she is a bit of a, a random one, and yeah, I, I would say she is Spider Man Spider Man's villains, but certainly like you know C list, you know at, mm. at best. So yeah, we can we can take her off. But one figure that we both agree with is the deluxe Thanos. Yeah, we're, we're talking obviously now the King Thanos technically the twenty twenty. I'm more release. than happy. Yeah, I'm I'm more than happy to have you know specifically king thanos because that, that that is a really good head sculpt and uh it's kind of a more obscure version of the character that we haven't seen before so yeah look, look at that big guy that's awesome he was a beautiful figure um i've got him on his throne somewhere behind me because you can see him on the shelf somewhere back there he's on his throne and he's got iron man's broken helmet in his hand which i quite like oh that's a great touch i i, mm -hmm. I, I like i like that that's really cool that's really cool that that you've done that so, and I think once um, we get once we get Maestro is or Maestro, I can never remember the name. Ma Maestro, isn't it? Maestro. I, th I think Maestro, but yeah, I'm I'm always torn. But I always guess it is like like Maestro, like a musician, mm -hmm. like Maestro. Yeah. Once we get that figure later on, I think people really like the fact that we've got King Thanos, so they can have both of them together. Yeah, that's that's really cool. I, I I'm annoyed because I've I've pre-ordered uh, Maestro and I haven't cancelled it yet, but I've been meaning to because I'm like. Oh, you know they're going to bring out a better version in a couple of years, but in the meantime, I'll I'll have that FOMO of not having him. So, as I, I literally think... bought, I li I literally bought recently the deluxe um, Mayfex King Kong figure purely for his chain accessories to put on <laughs> Maestro, so I can have Thanos holding the chains of to Maestro. Oh gosh, that that will look really cool. I can't in wait. Fairness. To <laughs> in Venice, that that will look amazing. So there we go. So King King Thanos, easily, and there you go. He's he's bumped up your list as uh, as well. He's got a higher ranking. King Thanos goes in at number twenty two. All right, so we're starting to really separate the men from the boys here now, and I've got Radioactive Man, who's a really pretty figure, but I've got to admit it's tough for me to argue that much for him what are your thoughts on radioactive man i'm not overly familiar with him it's not a figure i've ever owned personally it's always been one of them ones that was quite expensive to get so i've never really bothered with him he is he is a cool figure and... See, i'm thinking of the right guy here aren't I? the green the green yeah 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 the, the bright the bright green jelly baby i've never owned him so I have, he's never been one to be on my list to be fair okay I'll, i'm gonna take i'm gonna take him off but i'll put him in our in our maybe in the maybe pile, because... yeah come back later i do i i do like him but i think we're, we're, we're pretty good at being we're being quite harsh because the maybe column is not filling up as fast as i thought it might be <laughs> you know I, th I thought everything would be a maybe but there you go now then actually this is this is interesting we've got we've got two daredevils we've got mm. armored daredevil and red suit daredevil now red suit daredevil ah can you really say that he's better than the armored daredevil I'm a Daredevil's nice, but I always liked the Red Daredevil because it's the classic Daredevil, and it and it was it was um, a really good figure to get, um, just because it is the classic Daredevil. He's the Red Daredevil. Other than the, if I had Yellow Daredevil in here, he might win. I do like the Yellow Daredevil the best, but Red is the second. Do you, do you not find that that the that the head feels quite small and thin on that Daredevil, or is that just is that just me? A little bit it is on the thinner side, um, but yeah, for, for me, the red daredevil was always uh, the definitive daredevil. That's I, the one that I, you okay, so it. in in fairness, would you say that uh, the you want to have the red da the red daredevil just because it's more of a, a, a personal fondness for classic daredevil yeah. you know, ra ra rather than, than, than the, the armored one, which you could argue is a better figure, but it's just not as iconic. Yeah, it's it's more it's. 
It's a hard one. It is a nice figure, the armoured one. It does come with some great accessories, especially having the billy clubs attached to the arms and stuff. That's pretty Yeah, decent. plus the, the, the red is nice and metallic. It's... Mm -hmm. It is a lovely, lovely figure. I understand where, um, you know, sort of nostalgia comes in because Lord knows I've got a few figures that are going to be ticking that box later. So I'm, w I'm willing, I'm willing to, you know, concede that Red Daredevil should go over Armored Daredevil, but Armored Daredevil is a really nice figure. Let's go with Armored Daredevil for now, and we can always change that later if we want to. All right, Let's I'll, I'll put, I'll put Red is Daredevil it... in in the Red... maybe section. If we're talking not our own personal opinions, like we're just talking about the actual figure itself and its execution, then obviously the newer Daredevil has more accessories. It looked nicer. It came with more bits. So technically that does yeah. win. That's that's fair enough. Because again, it, it gets difficult because you know when when you say top 50 Marvel Legends, it, that, that's such a broad spectrum of like, what, the top 50 best engineered figures or the top mm -hmm. 50? iconic figures or the top 50 most essential it's really really difficult because again like i've got a couple of figures of my own coming up here that are essentially just repaints of pizza spider-man but i would have over pizza spider-man but then pizza spider-man is the iconic spider-man so we'll get to that when we need to uh but at the moment though we have an easier debate which is electra really electra <laughs> I'll happily boot her off the list. You have got a lot more figures there on your list that I would want to keep on this list. So <laughs> I'd happily exchange Electra. Okay. And also, yeah. I, I appreciate that if we do start to boot more figures off of Ash's list, that is mainly because he did his list after mine and he probably saw that I chose lots of figures he would have chosen anyway. So kudos for mixing things up a little bit. <laughs> and speaking of bumping things off, I do have two, two Punishers. I've got Walgreens Punisher and Deluxe Punisher. So I will concede that we probably don't need both. Which one do you feel is the more iconic version or the most, like, the better version of the figure? You know, even though I've put Deluxe Punisher way, way higher, I think, you know, Walgreens Punisher is the more iconic version. And again, we're going back to our Daredevil debate now because it, it is it is whether, whether it's iconic or whether it's, like, a cooler figure. And actually... No, if I've got to if I've got to be harsh and legit, I would take Walgreens off and keep the more beautifully sculpted figure on there. So I would take Walgreens off and keep uh, Deluxe on. What do you think? Yeah, and let's not forget Deluxe came with the bike as well. Exactly, and also his his weapons, his selection of weapons was awesome. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so I've got Deluxe Punisher at, at six. Do you want to lower him down the list a bit, or are you happy with him being there? What do, what do you think? Can you nominate a place for him? Uh, where are we? Okay, so we've got we've got Hulk Retro there. We've got so maybe go maybe number twelve. I would say for Punisher, if that's all right with you. Ah, that that, 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 Retro works. Doom. that works for me there. Well, below, all right, well. and we both we both have the Fallen Silver Surfer on our lists too. Mm. We do. And that that is a lovely figure. You've got him uh, considerably higher than th than I have, but yep. he he is he is pretty great. Do you find that he's he doesn't grip uh, Mjolnir very well though? No, he drops it all the time. It's painful. Yeah, because he's not truly worthy. But uh, clearly, clearly, that's only a small gripe. But it, it is it is very real. But yeah, so uh, Fallen Surfer is obviously a hundred percent guarantee. Um, I would maybe personally want to shift him down the list a little bit from number five but yeah. not, not not by much though but i can't i can't in good conscience put him above deluxe punisher retro doom and war machine uh, maybe number 13 what do you reckon yeah that sounds good all right there, there we go that that works that works pretty well okay now we got a battle of two beasts here we got death's head two and monster toxin i gotta concede I love Death's Head 2, but I could probably kick him off the list. Death's Head 2 has no sentimental value to me whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not fond of that figure at all. I don't I don't get it when people talk about him. I just don't understand him. Uh, I think I think that sort of gnarly robot cyborgs are badass, especially when mm. they have dreadlocks too. But at the same time, <laughs> I do have a problem with the fact that his body is just a big blue lump. There's nothing to yep. differentiate it. So I love Death's Head, but he can go. He can go. And Monster Toxin is, is a great figure. But also, we do have 
Deluxe Venom, don't we? Do, have, have we put Deluxe Venom on here? We've got Monster Venom. Oh, I meant Deluxe Venom, didn't I? Let just, me rewrite yeah, just, that. Just going back to Death's Head, with the fact that, for me, yeah, it, it, I think we could uh, definitely argue his place as a character on the list, but the figure they made was nothing compared to how he looks in the comics. Yeah. Look, in look, the comics, look, he looks like a badass Judge Dredd with his all these metal uh, shoulder pads and the big the big arm piece and so I, I, I just think they've failed miserably with, with the figure honestly. <laughs> I can I can like. accept that. I can accept that. Um but for, for Monster Toxin, I'm definitely happy to have Monster Toxin on there. Although it is a shame that they did scrimp on the paint job with the extra mm. mouths a little bit. But they he did. is still an awesome figure. Do you think uh, above Deluxe Venom though? It's tough, so, isn't it? I, I, I was just kind of pitching that as an idea, though. But I think he does. I think he does go above Deluxe Venom. Do you mean Monster Venom? Uh, you mean well, Monster Venom? We we decided Deluxe Venom, didn't we? Because Mon Monster Venom is the bath. Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Stop trying to trip me up there. Yeah. So uh, I, I, prefer, I do prefer the new toxin, the Monster Toxin, to the, the Venom. Yeah, to, to be honest, uh, so do I. So yeah, he can go above armored Daredevil. That's cool. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm more than happy with that. And um, yeah, I, I tell you what. Now you we've got one that I definitely don't have, which is the what Sentinel. Like, what I would say, what I'd like to do, TJ, if it's okay, yeah. can we can we maybe bring Monster Venom just to um, like twenty five? We can do that. And then put King Thanos lower down at the twenty because he's better. Okay, okay, and we can we can kick we can off we can we can then kick off the cuckoos, and then leave twenty two open for debate later. Wait, so so kick kick the cuckoos off the list entirely? Yeah, for toxin. Okay, well, I mean, to be honest, like I'm I'm happy to like keep the cuckoos on the list. I would, I, I would get rid of. Oh, actually, we have a uh, forty-four spare. Or, or did you? Did we? We suggesting that something else goes in forty-four. I was getting confused there. I think we've got more room to debate then later on with the high, with the figures that we want to keep the most. If we've got a few spots still open on the list, that's we, true. Looking at if you look at the figures we've got coming up, yeah, the we've already got on this list that are lowered down. Cuckoos, yeah, they're nice. They're great figures. But are we saying that cuckoos are actually better than Deluxe Thanos? That's like obviously that. a, a right. very a very good point. That's that, that's so a very kick, very fair let's point. Kick cuckoos out for now. We can always bring them back. Uh, yeah, leave twenty two open and continue down to nineteen. Okay, okay, that that works. That works. <laughs> so I'll just uh, move these guys down a slot. There I know you've go. got Black Knight coming up. You're not a fan of Black Knight. Mm. <laughs> uh, but he's got he's got three different heads. That's just instant value. Mm, okay, but yeah, I don't I know. know. Maybe I, when I've seen the new Eternals movie, I'll go back and read some Eternals comics and feel more obliged to this. Well, I don't I don't really understand that to be honest. I've never known Black Knight as an Eternals character. I've only ever sort of seen him appear in like some nineties X Men stuff. But I'll I'll happily take Black Knight off and put him in the maybe list because again I'm, I'm not massively attached and there's other ones that i would probably debate more or i would shout harder for so that's that's okay the but one you... the, the, again it's for me again it's that whole thing the the version they've gone with in the marvel legends isn't how i remember black knight in the comics at all were, were you used to him from the avengers with like his jacket and yeah. all that kind of look I yeah. see, when you said X Men, I don't even consider him an X Man. I consider him more part of the Avengers lineup. Oh, did, did I say X Men? If I did, yeah. I didn't. I, I didn't. I didn't mean to. <laughs> he's definitely an Avengers. <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah, yeah. He's he, he's not. He, he's never been with the X Men because they're a bunch of uh, elitists who wouldn't let him join. I would imagine. <laughs> and it was always the the weird knockoff lightsaber that he always had in the comics as well that always amused me. Yes, that's right. That's right. So, um, yeah, I, I can appreciate, especially if 
uh, for, for anyone who isn't a fan of plastic capes. I don't mind plastic capes, but I can appreciate that that's not for everyone either. But he does look kind of cool drawing his sword. But at the same time, I'll put him in the maybe pile. Mm -hmm. I don't mind Black Knight going in the maybe. And then we've got uh, the Sentinel. Which, which mm -hmm. is this the Days of Future Past Sentinel? Yes, the talking one. Right. Okay. I've I've never really properly seen that figure at all, but he he does look pretty cool. Um. So yeah, he's there at twenty one. I don't have much reference for him, but you're saying he should probably be in that position, yeah? Just because there's not been until we get this new Sentinel, there's not been a figure that's his size or his kind of thing for a long time. They used to give us things like the the other Sentinel back in the day, and they gave us um. Uh. It'll come to me. Fantastic Fours villain Galact Galactus. Basically, yeah. Yeah. And they've given us figures like that in Fing Fang Foom. And they've given us big, awesome figures in Marvel Legends over the years. Then Hasbro have kind of gone away from that for the longest time. And when they released that Sentinel as an X-Men fan, I was like, I need to own that Sentinel. <laughs> and, yeah, he, he does. He does look cool. So I can I can appreciate that. And you're you're happy with his position on the list with the other ones uh, that are below him for now. Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, with that. okay. Maybe we could based, put him in the blank spot. Maybe, maybe, maybe we could put him in the blank spot. Maybe at forty-four. So I'm happy, happy, I'm lower happy down. to do that because he is. It, it's a bit. Is it, even though we do allow all Marvel Legends, so he's totally valid. It is a bit mean comparing such such a deluxe, such a special character mm -hmm. compared to like other sort of regular figures. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But with with that with that in mind, we do have a regular mm -hmm. figure who is, I think, we both agree, pretty damn awesome, which is the Demo Goblin. Oh yeah, definitely. Just because it it did do that thing of they gave us a bath figure that wasn't ridiculously oversized and was still an awesome bath figure to get. Yeah, yeah, I'm so glad we got him because I th I thought it was highly <laughs> unlikely we were going to get that mm -hmm. character at all, let, let let alone get him get him as an awesome bath. So. Yeah, I was really, really pleased when we got him, and he absolutely lived up to all all hype and potential. So we both had him pretty close together. I had him at 20, you had him at 17, so uh, we'll just whack him in at number 20 then. Yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. Excellent. That was a nice, easy one. Now then, this is a funny one. Gamora. Is this comic book Gamora? Oh, hang on, sir. I've just looked at my list. I've got, I've got King Thanos at number 20. I've got ah, twenty two and okay. nineteen open. So where 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 do you want to put him? Oh, uh, with, uh, with which ones are open? Twenty two and nineteen are open on my list. We moved King Thanos down to twenty to be a little bit lower in the list. Ah, right. Oh, okay, okay. Yes, I I see. I was getting I was getting all confused there. I was. So yeah, because I'll just we, yeah, take we, we went and put yeah we went and put the monster toxin at twenty five below venom, um, but then we had a spot open at twenty two. That's it. Okay, perfect, perfect. You want to so, spot yeah, demo? that works perfectly for me. Yep, I, I like that. That's a very respectable one. So, actually, sorry. Um, who did I move down to twenty three? So twenty three, we've got Spider Pizza. Ah, yep. Because we we decided that having him at ridiculous forty four when we've got all these other figures on the list and stuff, we kind of both agree that Spider Man's iconic, so he needs to be lower down. And then we've shoved yeah, Sentinel yeah. in his old spot at 44, basically. Oh, who goes in 44? Sentinel. Ah, right, right, right. Sentinel goes in at 44. Yes, that's what and we, we did. now we shift down to 19. Excellent. Okay, yeah. Ooh. And so that was 19 for Demo Goblin. Demo Goblin at 22. <laughs> 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 and uh, where did Armored Didi go? Armored DD is 21, then King Thanos at 20, and then now we're on 19 blank. Where does Monster Toxin go? Monster Toxin was at 25, below Monster Venom. Oh, Dux Venom, isn't it? 26, 25, 24. Oh, okay. Uh, so where does Kingpin go? Kingpin's at 24. Okay. All right. All right. That's all. That's <laughs> you, everyone just saw my brain break in real time there. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, why did I, why did I suggest doing a live stream that uses spreadsheets and numbers? <laughs> this is what the, the number one thing that, that I don't do. Okay, uh, so yeah, and then Armored Daredevil, he went at 22? Uh, yeah, no, Demo Goblin at 22, Armored Daredevil 21, King Thanos at 20. 
<laughs> All right, we finally got it. We We're finally there? got it. And by by we, I mean me. I'm just gonna right, let Dave have are... a moment. I'm just gonna let Dave have a little breather for a moment. I just double check his list, and I'll just have a quick. Yeah, I, think, I think I was just overheating there. Damien, <laughs> Damien, hello, dude. How are you doing today? How are we doing? This is one polite versus gents. I, just, I think when you're both comic book guys and you, you're talking comics, that is so much easier. At the yeah, end, yeah, because we're not video, we're, we're not going head to head. <laughs> at the end of this video, though, we, we have got maybe someone that we want to call out, and that might get a little bit. That might get tasty. That might get a little saucy, a little spicy, a little fruity. All right, <laughs> we have got now coming up. <laughs> All right, yeah, yeah, G Gamora, talk, talk to me, man. What, what, so, what, we, what figure is this? This is the Entertainment Earth exclusive Gamora. It's the Entertainment Earth exclusive box set. Oh, okay. I didn't even know how to search for that because that's only brought up three Gamoras here. So, oh, the, the, this is like the Guardians of the Galaxy box it's set. The yeah? Yeah, if, if you put Guardians of the Galaxy box set, it should come up on, on the thing that you've got there. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Guardians. Volume 2 Mantis, Legends, Blue, 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 Guardians, Galaxy, Groot, Evolution, uh, Entertainment Earth. There we go. Let's take it. It was a an awesome look. box set. Yeah, because um, this, this one is, is pretty hard to come by, isn't it? Very hard to come by. Oh, yeah, with the mean looking Groot. Yeah. Because when you, when you laid down the rules of this for me, that we're starting at. 2012 onwards obviously i couldn't use my iconic warpath and i couldn't use some of my iconic figures that i go to like my monsters box set so i i thought yeah i'm gonna go for that one at least because i recently completed that box set i collected them all individually it took me ages. oh wow me yeah that's impressive it cost me a fortune but i finally got them all <laughs> and um I managed to get them all with the accessories as well which i'm quite I, I'm, if someone can sell me a box i'll be a happy boy but <laughs> Um, a, a difficulty is, I have, though, is she's just kind of a normal figure, though, isn't she? She is, but we haven't really got another Gamora that's not MCU. That's very true. That's very the annoying, true. The annoying thing for me now is I've got an MCU nebula with a complete comic line of cosmic, of you know, cosmic characters, and it's driving me bonkers. <laughs> okay, okay. But, but for your own kind of peace of mind, from to, to not go crazy, then. I can totally appreciate her getting the list, but at the same time, I, I I think we can both agree that 19 might be a bit high for her. Yeah. Okay. Because we... because I mean she's a cool figure, but she's a pretty basic figure as well. I would be happy to just get one of these entertainment exclusive figures on this list at 19. So if you're oh. not happy with Gamora, would we then say that that Groot deserves to be number 19, as it is quite a monster Groot? Definitely, I'm a hundred percent fine with uh, putting Groot on there. That's that's an easy, an easy placement for me there. So, are you all right to then take Gamora and Rocket we'll, we'll, off the yeah, list, or we'll take those guys away and we'll all settle right. that E Groot is the best figure out of that little box set? Yeah, I I totally totally agree with that. That 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 is a, a great great figure. So, all fair, right, this... the, the Rocket Raccoon. To be fair, it was it was basically the old Bath Rocket Raccoon re released. Um, I thought that was the case. Yeah, hang on a second. He, he talks to the people. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm gonna I let, let Ash do whatever it is that that he's doing, and I'm gonna check in finally to see actually what's going on in in the chat. Guys, thank you so much for joining us on this like crazy epic odyssey that we're doing here. Because this has already got way longer than I thought it would, but we've got important things to discuss. So we're we're covering important ground here. Ash, what you got? So this is that little mm. rocket raccoon. It is very nice, but as you say, it's it basically the bath figure redone. In yeah, fact, that's actually that really cool. Set. The bo the box set is well worth getting. It's expensive, but it does give you the comic book versions of the original Guardians as they look in the comics. Star Lord without Chris, you know, without the Chris face. Yeah, I, it it does amaze me that we haven't had a new whole set of you know Guides of the Galaxy comic figures because I mean those guys are over, you know they they people want them, so it's surprising we haven't mm -hmm. got that. And that little rocket there is kind of adorable compared to all the ones we've got from the M from the MCU. That's my go to rocket when I do uh, when I do figure photography because the other ones, even if I was using MCU, I would still go with this because I think it looks nicer than those weird. And then weird, realistic-looking uh, raccoons they've given us. 
Yeah, yeah, I can totally appreciate that. But I, I think it's only a matter of time until we get to see those again. Uh, oh, until we get to see, see the, the comic ones again very soon, because yeah, this this lineup is is pretty iconic. So I'm very glad that we've got Groot on there definitely. And the next figure that, that I have up is 80th Iron Man, and he is a great figure. But maybe I'm having second thoughts about him. What, what do you reckon for Iron Man? He's until recently was my go-to Iron Man was the 80th one. Are we, we're talking the traditional 80th. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right? With the you Not know the, the one that came out with movie. Thor and Captain America. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, he was my go-to Iron Man until recently when we got that new Tony Stark with this with the AI head. Yeah. Because I removed the AI head and put the yellow mask on, and I did prefer the look of that Iron Man on the shelf with the with the 80th Thor and Cap. It looks more classic. Yeah, I, I do I do appreciate that because yeah, you know, I actually I, I sold that figure because I have mm. this 80th one, but honestly, I can understand why folks do prefer the bright yellow. But the, I, it was always bright yellow in the comics to me. It was never gold. To me, it was always yellow. Yeah, that mm, you know, I, I, I don't until the, modern, put, until the modern era anyway. Yeah, I, I don't really want to put the the, the hollow the hologram one on there because also I no, don't, no, I don't no. like the fact that his his chest piece is blue. That kind of yeah. throws me. Yeah. Um. So I, I actually, actually yeah, yeah, absolutely. So honestly, I, I I don't mind taking Iron Man off the list entirely. Um. Or, or maybe maybe booting one of the lower down ones off the list. Yeah, I, I would maybe suggest if we're game for it, let's maybe suggest kicking. Who do I not like? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is difficult. It's uh, tough, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, because yeah. each each figure now has. It has its say, merits. I was going to yeah. say kick forge, but we we already did that for Angel, didn't we? Oh, we did. <laughs> we did. We did kick forge. Um, but what 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 about letting? I see. I don't want to let Sunfire go because Sunfire is such a pretty figure. Could we kick Strong Guy for Iron Man? Is is Iron Man worthy enough to be that? He's going to be that high on the list, but he's definitely better than a Strong Guy fig. Personally, I mean, I would be more than happy to because yeah, I'm not a big Strong Guy fan, so. If you're if you're happy to do that, and I will bear that in mind for uh, future considerations <laughs> as well, well. Yeah, we'll definitely boot him off to put Iron Man, the 80th Iron Man, there because it is it was my go-to display figure till like a week ago. Okay, so that's that's fine. I'm I'm down with that. And this is actually an interesting one here. I've got my Grey Hulk, which we were talking about. Mm. So we were talking about Green Hulk and Grey Hulk, and you're not a fan. Of Green Green Hulk, how do you feel about Grey I Hulk? Prefer, I prefer Grey Hulk over Green Hulk, but I think from looking at your list, you definitely prefer the Green Hulk over Grey Hulk. Well, the thing is, I I do, I definitely. Well, <laughs> no, but that that that's it. If we're looking at actually just what is a better figure that is more accurate to the character and even literally comes with more, I got to say the Grey Hulk actually. So you know what, I would be willing to boot Green Hulk off the list. Entirely and replace him with Grey Hulk. Yeah, yeah, we can we can do that because if you've got if as long as you've got one of these Hulks on the list, then you're golden. So, yeah, uh, Grey Hulk can definitely definitely take take that there. I am just so, waiting for the imploding chat moment in about four seconds when the chat comes <laughs> to the screen. I I appreciate the uh, the 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 vigor, <laughs> the the vim and vigor <laughs> that we that we have. So. Um, that's Where cool. Green Hulk? Where's Green Hulk on this list? I can't even see you. I know, I, actually, I, I want to see. Um, I'll just play around with the screens a little bit so that I can hopefully keep keep the chat here as well, which is oh, always Hulk fun. Down there. Okay, so we we're kicking. We're going to put Grey Hulk at fifteen. Is that what we're doing? Let me just bring the figure list back up here and minimize this screen, and then I can sort of see just about everything all at once. Man, I'm glad I didn't have Pornhub open there. There we go. <laughs> okay, so Grey Hulk is at number fifteen. We're we're getting close to the, like the big money players here mm -hmm. now. Um, I'll take eightieth off my list. So there we go, and let's bring up. Uh, yeah, so now we have to pick, choose, and debate. Um, 
Spider Gwenum. Spider Gwenum, who is a fun figure, but mm -hmm. I don't I don't have a huge amount of like sort of love for her. I like what they did with like the funky tail and like well not, not tail, the funky tongue that kind of wraps around her and stuff, but I don't know. I'm not sure if I'd want her particularly high. What do you reckon? Um, let's have a look at who we've got still to come on here. What do we think about her? Hmm. Oh, no. <laughs> Radioactive bear says tosser. <laughs> Get her off. <laughs> <laughs> See, I liked Gwenham. Um, and I, and I do call it Gwenham on my list because that it is Gwenham. Oh, oh, totally. The fact that they totally. didn't call I, her I Gwenham agree. on the box annoys the living hell out of me. Venomized spider Gwen. What the yeah, get out of like, here. It's Gwenham. Gwenham. Come on, people. We know what we're talking about. I think but yeah, so I, I, I do I think, like the figure, but she's real basic as well. She doesn't come with anything she extra. Is very basic. I think yeah. she's been one of, the, one of those figures in years to come where everyone's going to think like meh now. And then when the, you know, the late, later down the line, the people are going to want that figure back, I'm telling you. Um, the 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 chat is not is not that no, is not is that very into very Gwenum, <laughs> but I'm I'm trying to think like who would I boot off the list or who's a similar character like X twenty three for example. <laughs> um, I tell you what, I would happily I would happily just get rid of Gwenum from the list because wow. I would keep I would keep X twenty three over Gwenum any day. Okay, that I tell you what, I, I admire that. That was not an easy decision, but we, we <laughs> went there. All right, so now we've got uh, Thing. We've got Thing from the Super Scroll Wave. And I chose that over the Walgreens one because I prefer the sort of the, the yeah, I, I prefer the head, the, the head sculpt and the color scheme. I prefer him looking brighter. But mm -hmm. what do you what do you reckon? Which one? Sorry, you've gone for the not the Walgreens one, the regular shorts release that with the with the tanned look of well look to him rather than orange. That's correct. Yes. Yeah. yeah, I prefer that one to the Walgreens one as well. Um, he's definitely worthy on the list. He definitely needs a spot on the list. But do we think he's this high on the list? Is he an eighteen? That's that's the question, isn't it? Yeah, it's it's a tough a tough call. Um, Looking at the list, I would I would suggest maybe swapping out Mister Hyde for Modern Thing. Okay, okay. Or or um, you see, if if I do that, do do I just shuffle everyone down a place and we drop Archangel entirely? Would you rather drop Archangel or Mister Hyde? Who would you rather drop? You know, honestly, I want to keep Mr. Hyde. I think we just, yeah, we just drop everything down a place. Because okay. I, I love Archangel, but he does have his flaws. <laughs> and he's, he's, a, he's a great figure, but we'll, we'll, just, we'll just move them down one. I know that there's a, a much quicker way of doing this, but <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not that well versed with Excel. So there we go. So modern thing. One one higher than Mister Hyde, and that is that I'm happy with that because modern thing he is he's a great great figure and also I love the fact that you know with the beautiful ankle articulation and whatnot yeah you can put him in a proper running charging pose it's like you you pitch you put him up against the Grey Hulk and like that's an awesome display right there too so um, I'm very uh, ha happy with that and uh, Ash just hold that thought for a second I'm going to put my headphones back in and then we'll take this thing home. Okay, okay. So we're now at number 17, people. Uh, now we've dropped all those down. Let's have a quick look at the chat. How we're doing, people? Bruh, drop X23 says, Phil, <laughs> leave my X23 alone. Yes, we're dropping Archangel, VJ. I'm really sorry. We have dropped Archangel. No, we haven't dropped Archangel. We've kept... No, no, sorry. We have kept Archangel. I do, I do lie. We have kept him. Um, you want to see an Exo Skulls of Wolverine? I would like to see an Exo Skulls of Wolverine, too. Oh boy, people really hate X23. People do hate X23, and people <laughs> saying, "Why is X23 on this list?" Hi, hi, Aiden, Mr. Sorrel. Thank you. Uh, this list is bonkers. This list is insane. I love it. 
That's right. I, I think I think that's a good thing. When the kids say that something is insane, it means like this is insane. I just got to plug my laptop back in as well because we are burning the midnight oil here. <laughs> Total Russo swerve. That is the best comment of the day, <laughs> bro. They will never see it coming. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm all plugged in and we're back on track now. <laughs> what a beautiful shambles this live stream is, as is always going to be the case with model behavior. Can I get a little bit more light in this room by opening these blinds? Let's have a look, see. It's dark oh. right now, but will it lighten the place up a little bit? Hoo ha! My goodness, this is this is epic. I'm I'm so I'm so proud of all you guys still still watching. <laughs> we've, How many people are still watching consistent. right now, Dave? We've been consistently hovering around the eighty mark, which I'm very pleased with. Yeah, I'm pleased with that. That's good. Yeah, Lord only knows how many folks have dropped in and out over the last two hours <laughs> that we've been doing this. Gotta love it. All right, so there are still many, many thrills, chills, and spills to come because we have a lot of figures and not many spaces. So we're going to have to thrash some of this out here. So let so me we're down to number seventeen now, by the looks of it. I believe that is the case. Let me. And all this here. time, all this time, I've realized that we didn't even discuss magic. You just magically hovered over magic, should we say? Oh, did I? Where was where was magic? I didn't even magic's, think twice. Magic's all the way up at twenty three, and I was thinking I would prefer magic over X twenty three. Okay. Oh no, I I tell you why magic's not on my list, dude. Because mm. you didn't include her in your video. That was the missing no, I didn't. figure. Yeah, she was the one that should have been where the random spare daredevil was. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I put two daredevils together because I am awful at filming and planning, and <laughs> I was just going around. I was just going around my collect in my collection, going uh, number fifteen and uh, number fourteen, and then I just lost track. <laughs> <laughs> All but, right, so magic. I I will. I don't have magic. Let me bring her up here, but she is uh, a beautiful figure, definitely. Mm -hmm. uh, magic is, is it magic with a K? Is that how she spells it? It's yeah, magic, magic with a K. And um, if you've got Colossus on the list, you have to have his little sister. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, he always has to get dramatic over over Iliana. Is it Iliana? Yeah, Iliana, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. You don't. This does not take convincing. I mean, look at this. That's just bonkers. That's an awesome, awesome figure. So, I'm. I, it's funny. I was about to say I'm jealous that I don't own it, but again, she's a very modern X Men character, so mm -hmm. I don't really have have too much love for her. But she's, just she's as a figure, a she's popular. wicked. She's become a lot more popular since the movie came out because she was practically the only good thing about the movie. <laughs> yeah. And so, I can't remember so, the actress's name, but they chose a very good actress to play her. And I hope that they use her in the future if she ever joins the MCU because I thought she played a good role. Well, there's always a possibility with the crazy things that they're doing. You never know who's going to pop up. So. Especially in the multiverse of madness with her powers. Oh, could you imagine? She could, up, she could pop up, but that could be a gateway to the X Men. But anyway, you never know, man. Okay, so <laughs> oh god, no, no. The worst thing they could ever do is bring the Fox X Men into the. They they won't bring the Fox X Men into the MCU. That would oh, be terrible. No, I hope not. <laughs> okay, so yeah, where is Magic going to go then? Because I, I will agree, she's an awesome figure. I was saying that we maybe we should um, take X twenty three spot. Everyone is not a fan of X twenty three at the best times from our chat. We found this evening that she's not the public's favorite. So I would happily exchange magic for X23. Okay, there we go. That's that's reasonable. We can certainly live with that. Okay, but going okay, this this is in, interesting. I'm I'm wanting to have like a debate between the Mark Bagley Carnage and Hellfire Club Emma Frost. Like, can you sort of justify like why do we need Hellfire Emma? And also, gosh, looking at the rest of, of your list, there's a few that I'm gonna have to be a bit harsh with but why do we need emma um emma because she it's the first time we've had the white queen properly in her proper attire not in the black outfit but in the proper white she, i think there's only ever been one other marvel legend back in the toy biz day and it was diabolically bad oh it, it was it was hideous yeah it was disgusting <laughs> and uh, they the, so out they made her so out of proportion and she looks so weird um, but yeah, she was the fact the fact the fact that she came in the box set annoyed me a little bit because she was she's definitely an X-Man character that you all everybody wants in their collection. 
she's you know the girl that tore Scott and Jean apart for some time. You know what I mean? Absolutely. And she yeah, was the, yeah. she was the head she was the head teacher as well for the longest time as well. Um, so for it me, it's a pretty cool looking figure. Yeah. Yeah. For me, it's just a shame they went with the god awful plastic cape and we didn't go for some cloth some cloth on there, but it, a fur coat would have been so much nicer. Yeah, I can appreciate that. She's she's a, a nice figure, but I mean, we've 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 got a lot of nice figures on our list, man. I, I just... Bagley Carnage is that the is that the new modern one, the the absolute Carnage figure? No, it's not. It's one that came out Which before that with with the Cletus Cassidy head. I, I say Bagley ah, because yeah, yeah. I, it, I in my head canon, I consider it based off of Mark Bagley artwork. Okay. Uh, that's that's just that's just the name the name I, I gave it. But yeah, so he comes, he, you know, he's. The Carnage is just a bucky cap body, but mm. he's got the big, the scythe hand, and he's got the Cletus Cassidy crazy grinning face and just claws and the tendrils. He's a good looking figure. Yeah. Um, I do like the Bagley Carnage. So I would say he does need a spot on the list, but I do like Emma Frost. And I can see that you've got the Deluxe Black Widow on there. I do. And you know what? I'm not married to the Deluxe Black Widow. Could I could we, probably get rid of her quite easily. Could we, could we kick Deluxe Black Widow in exchange for a uh, Emma Frost at 17 spot? And I then, will go with that. And then keep Carnage yeah. at 16. All right. Yeah, I'm I'm down with that. And actually, that we have we have 18 open here, actually. That was it. Entertainment Earth Group. Oh, oh no. I, I've got Groot at 19. I thought, I, thought, I thought we knocked everybody down one to make way for... Uh, yeah, so, so Groot, uh, Groot, Groot was at 18, so we knocked him down. Oh, no, wait. I was conf I'm confused. <laughs> Which is hardly surprising. Um, every, everything sort of makes sense, though, because we've got Archangel at number 51, so everyone is kind of where they should be. 51? There's only 50 spots. Oh yeah, but I mean, he was knocked knocked down off the list. Oh, I get you. Okay. Oh, yeah. that that's what you did. Okay, right, 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 right. So we removed Angel from the list. Okay. So now my number that's is completely it. out of whack. Okay. Oh, <laughs> okay. Don't don't worry. We got we got the the master spreadsheet, the, the master list spreadsheet here being controlled by the person who is no not a master <laughs> in spreadsheets. <laughs> but there you go. Hellfire Club, Emma. With and then Carnage the... is going after Emma. Carnage there. So there we go. Okay. Now then. Um, I wait, I we've already placed Monster Toxin. That's great. We can get rid of Monster Toxin. Uh, we have you put old man Logan two pack. Oh uh, well, yeah, you know, the old man Logan from the two pack. Um I'm not a big fan of this guy. His coat, his jacket's kind of cool, but that's about it. What do you what do you reckon about Old Man Logan? Um, I like Old Man Logan. Um I don't I don't know why I'm so attached to that character. I really don't, but I do. I like the old man Logan. Um for me, it was always always a toss between Old Man Logan and Days of Future Past Logan. But the new yeah, Old Man Logan has the better face sculpt out, out of the two of them. He he does, and he has the little baby Hulk as well, which mm -hmm. is kind of fun. His jacket's more interesting. I'm not a big fan of the, even though I don't, I've never owned the Days of Future Past Logan. I'm not a big fan of the way that he looks to to my eye. So, I mean, I I, I would be down with putting Old Man Logan in at number sixteen and dropping Days of Future Past Logan. Yep, that's fine. All right. Okay. That's that's good. We've got a we we're, we're we're getting there, man. We're taking this home now. <laughs> we're bringing it on home. Um. So okay. This is the these are, th are three interesting ones here. You've got you've got on your list, man. Um. You've got first of all, Captain Marvel, dude. Really, <laughs> Captain I Marvel. Happily, I can happily kick off Captain Marvel at this point. <laughs> comic book version. I do like that comic book version of her though, because when it, when everyone was going on the I hate Captain Marvel rant because of the movie. I had that yeah. comic book one. I was like, but this figure is so much nicer. It's like, it's a good version of the figure <laughs> of, the, of the character. And yeah, I, I always like that figure. But yeah, I'm, I can happily drop her from the list. All right. There are okay, other I figures up here that I would that. argue, I would argue more for than her. 
<laughs> okay. And actually, let's just do a quick little, because we're right, we're getting close to, to the end. Let's do a, a little count of, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have 10 spots left. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13 characters. Although we've got one that's almost a double because we've got fan silk and we've got original silk. And do you really prefer the dull gray over the bright white? Yeah, I do. The bright white one just looks too clean. Oh. Like, Dude, that's... As a wall crawler, do you really think she's going to be that? She's going to stay that white? No, I mean, go, come on, dude. I mean, get out of here. <laughs> I, I, I think like you, know, you see the, the the white one on the shelf looks so much more. It, it pops off the shelf more because you got you also you you got like like the, the white spider legs that go down her legs. The, mm. the gray one looks more plain. Um, I, I, I would. I would want to argue the toss that the, the white one, even if she should technically get dirty while fighting crime, <laughs> I, I I would really like stamp my feet for white silk over gray silk. Plus, she's got the the hand sputer, the, the hand webbing. The, the hand what? The hand sputer? <laughs> yeah. Yes, you heard the hand sputer. <laughs> she she, <laughs> she she spoots the webbing from her fingers. Uh yeah, okay then we'll go so we're going for the fan we're gonna go for the fan channel exclusive at 14. Is that what we said? Fan, channel, fan channel at 14 <laughs> with, with the spooter. With the spooter. <laughs> All right, that's that's and cool. and 13 that... is the fallen surfer, 12 is the punisher deluxe, so and eleven is retro doom. So we are now into the top ten. Yes, although <laughs> things can things can shift and move and uh and, and whatnot. So I think I will be bumping the list down a few times so we might be losing some of the bottom figures again as well uh right so uh angelica she's yes. a good figure she is a nice figure and the fact um, that i don't think marvel even own her anymore do they, or do they still own her at this point i can't remember she's i, see, she I was, have i have no idea yeah, she was originally a, a she was originally a spawn character was angelica yeah, and the whole point—the whole point of Image Comics was that the creators own their creations. So, mm -hmm. was it War was it Warren Ellis or Neil Gaiman or Neil I don't Gaiman. Know. It was created by Neil, oh. it, was Neil, it was Neil Gaiman and Todd McFarlane, basically who, who created her. Okay, uh, and yeah, she was she was originally in Spawn, uh, but obviously she came across the Marvel Universe during the Age of Ultron in 2013, and she's been expanded upon in a lot of stuff with Thor and being a part of that kind of series of stuff with Asgardians. Yeah, and the guy she, she's been associated also with Guardians of the Galaxy as well. She's been on their team okay. sometime as well, even recent years. So she's yeah. kind of found a way into Marvel. But to, for me, she was always a weird character choice because I always remember her as a Spawn character. Yeah, no, I was thinking it, exactly that, which is just so so interesting. But yeah, I'm I'm more than happy to uh, uh, in, in, include include her on the list uh, de definitely. But I, I was thinking actually, I am um, I was just adding a column i didn't mean to let me get rid of that there we go uh, so yeah um where do we put her though because i feel like i don't she's not like an amazing figure she's good but mm. we've got some really good figures on here i mean do, is she better than king thanos no i would definitely put her in the 40 to 50 bracket okay okay she's, she's so we can oldest she's of the older line now yeah, I would, so, I, I would happily, if you're game for this, would happily negotiate and kick off the retro wasp that I know you're not a fan of anyway. And we could always <laughs> replace good old Angelica into that spot and stick around about the 47 mark. That sounds good good to me. So, uh, yeah, what I'll, what I'll do is uh, add row above and we'll put Angelica in people there. In the chat as, people in the chat as well. Are, uh, remember, guys, please remember this is this is our just opinions. We're not, we're not, we're not Marvel here saying that these are the top 50 characters of all time. Whoa, just, whoa, whoa. Just... Did we, did, did we not make that, that clear? So, sorry, <laughs> this, this needs to be stated. Guys, this is official. All right. That, so, you know, the, the figures that don't make the top 50, you have to actually burn them. 
<laughs> All right, I want, I want you to go to your shelves, take them off and burn them and then Instagram me the video to prove that you've done this. I hope you realized you were signing a contract when you entered this live stream. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's it's all it's it's all good fun, and believe you me, uh, I don't think either Ash or myself would have ever <laughs> got into doing YouTubing if we were afraid of being told that we are wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's absolutely fine. But yeah, I I love I that's why I wanted to do this live stream because I love the debate. I love I love how completely wonderfully subjective these things are. So there you go. Now the next figure is a is a Grail. Of mine, and again, when I say Grail, I just mean a figure that I don't want to spend a lot of money on, and that is Elsa Bloodstone. That's a good figure, damn good figure. She's amazing. Yeah, yeah. currently, currently retailing on the eBay's and the groups for about forty quid, which is more than I could justify spending on a basic figure. But she is cool. She is. She is. She is a cool figure. How cool though is She's the question. Well, she came in the A Force box set for starters, so she was one of the better figures from that list. Yeah, she was, and that was a pretty strong list of figures. Actually, there mm. were some good ones on that. Still wanting Lady Loki to this day, can't find her anywhere. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Uh, yeah, all, all all of them. Because yeah, you had uh, Monica Rambo. That's a great figure. I've got her, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, the sparkly binary sort of one. Yeah, that that was a great box set. Uh, so yeah, absolutely. She she deserves. Let me bring her up as well. Actually, I'll bring up her. Image of her. Uh, For me, Elsa. what the reason I like her is because of her association with the monsters, which is one of my favorite things. Um, That's why I wanted her. Mm -hmm. So I've got her currently with my. I've got a bit of a mix-up shelf going on between the um, monsters uh, of Marvel and also the. I've got like Man Thing in there, and um, I've got Blade in there, Dracula's in there, a bit of a Midnight Riders kind of feel going on there. Yeah, I'm very jealous of that because, again, just looking at the character here, I'm like, oh, man, she's, oh, she is a really good figure. I'm, that's one of the few figures that I'm genuinely kind of irked that I don't have, which is a shame. Can this Maybe one day. Far? Can this reach that far? I think it might. Oh, no, just shot, I think. I don't think you can see them. They're just there. Oh, there you go. Can you see? Just barely in just my barely, yeah, shiny screen. Yeah. You've got the, like, I've got like a bit of a monster shelf going on. <laughs> oh, I'm very, I'm very jealous of that because that's what I wanted to get started when I got my uh, Man Thing bath. I was like, oh, I got got Man Thing, Grey Hulk, so Dormammu, but yeah, we need Elsa. So I'm happy to put Elsa in a a decent spot, but maybe not a crazy spot because she is a still a kind of a basic mm -hmm. figure, but she's a great example of a basic figure. But then again, we got a lot of great basic figures. Is she better than Magic? No. I do prefer magic. All right, i i prefer I prefer these guys as well. Is she is she better than the Sentinel? Oh, definitely. No, no, sorry, the, sorry, the Sentinel is better than her. What I was going to say was, would we maybe? Could we maybe? Well, I don't know. This, this could be controversial. Would we drop? Would we drop out Jubilee? Uh, you know, I I I like. Jubilee, uh, it's it's so difficult because Jubilee's got the bubble gum. She's got the uh, the mm. the different heads, the sunglasses. Elsa Blister has I, got two, two shotguns. She has, she has got two shotguns. But she, she is a harder character. She is a harder character to put with anybody. To be honest, she is one of the harder characters that, unless you're going to be yeah. buying the rest of the Monster Wave or the rest of the so, But but we decided that she's not better than Magic. No, I do prefer magic. Yeah. Okay. Well, I I tell I, I tell you what. What I'll do actually, I'll just. Gosh, yeah, we're we're close to bumping. Ah, oh, because yeah, I, I was gonna say I could I could just move them all down one. But then we actually mm. lose Colossus from the list, which seems a bit egregious. Mm. So, all right, I'll I'll take I'll take Jubilee out and put Elsa in. But <laughs> oh boy, this is this this is tough. This is tough. Is it Bloodstone? Is that her name? Elsa Bloodstone. Elsa Bloodstone. Yeah, I, that's it. I think I think fanboys everywhere cried a little bit inside when you just called her Elsa, and you were getting ready to let it go. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 never go full Disney. Okay, 
This is actually um, a, a, a tricky one. Actually, you've got Scarlet Witch. This is the the Family Matters Scarlet the Family Witch, Matters yeah? Scarlet Witch. I love that Scarlet Witch. Um, when they released that one, it just it that original release one that they that they did the new one just absolutely pooed all over that one. It was just so amazing, and um, yeah, we find uh, yeah, oh, I'm, I'm speaking in tongues, but yeah, the um, the Family Matters version was just so much nicer. The face was beautiful. Oh gosh, you know I don't, I I don't want to tell you how I feel about this figure now because then it's, you're, you're 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 talking about how much you you enjoy it and like it. I just ah, uh, I'm again. The, I'm an X Men buff though. I'm an Avengers yeah. and an X Men buff. Of course, I'm going to like Scarlet Witch. And I, I love it I as well. Really, I really don't like her. I feel the face is so neutral. It's such such a plain mannequin face. You know, it looks like a shop dummy. It's like it's such a pity because there is some really nice stuff going on here. I love the metallic paint, uh, the the swibbly effects and stuff. But also, she's got the rock hard hair, which makes her impossible to 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 turn her head and stuff. So, all again, all all I'm pitching to you, all I'm pitching to you is, is she better than anyone? <laughs> Is she better than anyone 50 to 40? Is there anyone that between 40 and 50 that you would look at and go, I want I want Wanda on there instead of them? Ooh. Ooh. It's killer, isn't it? It's tough. It is. you, you know, you, you knew this. You knew this going in. <laughs> <laughs> um i would would um, would you say she's better than sunfire personally no <laughs> sunfire as. uh but she's i mean so better than colossus colossus is is he's the only figure in that scale he's he's iconic okay in well i mean i can i can put i can put her above sunfire but that still means she doesn't make the top 50 um, um, let's leave her for now. We can always come back. There are, there are other figures on this list still that I need, I want to get on this list okay. for definite. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, we'll circle back to her. Mystique. In mm -hmm. fairness, I have no problem with Mystique. I think that's a cool looking figure, and I'm gutted. I still don't own her. And she came with that uh, uh, rogue head sculpt as well, which is so awesome. Um, especially if you pop that on Rogue and have Rogue touching Mystique, it just looks so oh, cool. Yeah, that's a that's a really good uh, a really good sort of posing option mm -hmm. there. I'm trying to find the right, uh, not Epic Heroes, not Mystic Rivals, um, Marvel Legends. That's that's the wrong Marvel Legends I logo. I think it's Walgreens. Like, was it Walgreens? Was it a Walgreens Mystique? Is that is that why she's so <laughs> damn sure she rare? Was a Walgreens one. Wolverine. Yeah, there was. I remember at the time she was very. She sold out so fast. There we go. Maybe wool is is wool greens two different words. Not yeah. being Americans, we're not familiar. Oh no, it's wool. All one word. All one word. Okay, because yeah, that's not coming up either. How very strange. She's even she's even rare to find on the internet. Well, not not to worry because I mean, let, let, let's face it. We we know what Mystique looks like. We know who we're talking about. She's the one character who we don't have on our shelves because she's going for silly money. Though actually, let me just do view all results and we can find it because I've yeah, got like a dog with she's a the bone Walgreens now. exclusive. She's Walgreens exclusive 2019 uh, release. There she <laughs> is. There she is. Marvel Legends Mystique, and yeah, she looks great. So she comes with the Lilandra head as well, she which does. is actually kind of annoying because what exactly does that head go on is there there, there isn't a proper lalandra body people use silver sable sometimes people use but... silver sable yeah and that's about as close as you can get <laughs> yeah which is kind of ridiculous um also i mean it, it's great that she comes with her sort of luger type pistol this mm -hmm. giant gold oh. grenade launcher is completely bonkers but what the hell they obviously had some spare plastic um but yeah this figure looks great um um quite gutted that i don't own it because yeah you just look at that picture there with the skull the skull mm -hmm. belts yeah she's very cool so i would be happy to uh yeah uh put mystique um on the number nine spot if that works for you or number eight even yeah. where she was yeah yeah because i think i think she is she's a really really cool uh figure miss there we go and so we've got my 
80th Captain America. Yes. And I he's he's a good figure. What do you what do you feel about him? Um 80th cap, yeah, he's he's my go-to cap, is the one I display. I do prefer him. He's my he's my cap. Yeah, so yeah, he's, he, he's pretty iconic. Mm -hmm. He needs to be on the list. I think he needs to be on the list more than Modoc out of your list, to be honest. <laughs> I'm not a fan of Modoc. Really? Uh, I opened think... it, I reviewed it, and I was like, yeah, buyer's remorse. Goodbye, Modoc. Really? Have you have you shifted him already? Have you, you sold on Modoc? He's gone to the rivers, he's gone to the uh to sell pile. Wow. Gosh, yeah. oh, I, I went full Owen Wilson there. Wow. wow. I I I really like the new Modoc. He's so weird and different and uh, unusual. Um, but yeah, that's one we can definitely sort of put on the back burner. Uh, would you be happy for 80th Cap to go um, above or below Mystique? Um, no, I think he is the iconic Cap. It took a long time for us to get a proper iconic Cap with the actual scale armor effect as well. Because all the others yeah. were always just a that's just a plain blue finish, whereas this cap had the actual blue sort of scaling effect going on on the armor pieces. The, sca the scales are yeah. the scales are terrific. Yeah, they they are. So um, I, I think what should, I, I could put them in. Do you think number five actually maybe for cap? Yeah, I could go in number five for cap. All right, that's that's great. That that works well. So, all right, now then. I might have to sort of uh, put my fighting gloves on for this because I would like a high spot for Retro Scarlet Spider, but I appreciate there's a lot of nostalgia in this one. How do you feel about Retro Scarlet Spider? So this is where, obviously, we're going we're to go head-to-head -head because it's X-Men versus Spidey sort of law. I'm not a fan of, of Scarlet or Ben Riley. You've put Ben Riley on here as well. Yeah, he's the yeah. Two choice. Um, I'm not a fan of either of them, but there probably are characters on this list that could be removed because of them. But we do have a lot of spots still available higher on this list now. We we are only at number was eight, number nine. Yeah, yeah. We've that's, not got that's that many to go. Well, we, we we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven spots, and we've got one, two, three, four five, six, seven, eight, nine characters. So it, this isn't going to be too difficult. I tell you what, let's let's start. It, it kind, kind of give, kind of, what, what are you thinking? What are you thinking? I was going to say, before, before we go full to war over this, I've got a feeling Venompool we can both mark on, on this list definitely because I love Venompool as well. Yes, there's a lot, there's a lot of spots great. still available here. Where should we put Venompool? What do you reckon? Quite high on my list. I would. I do like him. I can't believe I didn't include him on my list. To be fair. Um. Do you think? Do you think? I mean, he, I would, he's, go, he's top, such, I would such, go top five. I would go top five easily for him. Yeah. Um. Would you put him above or below Cap? I'd say um, above Cap. Yeah, I'm willing. I'm willing to go above above cap for venom pool that that works that works so we'll go above cap for venom pool there and look because because this is a kind of a combined list uh you know i'm happy to sacrifice one of my ben riley's so <laughs> i have to ask myself do i want to get rid of uh you know sensational spider-man ben riley or scarlet spider and that's actually really difficult because of course, the sensational Spider-Man, you get the spider carnage head as well, which actually, you know, gives you a lot of options. So the thing is, we already have Pizza Spider-Man mm -hmm. on the list. So it pains me to take my number two figure off the list entirely. But actually, what, as, what, what have we got that I can get rid my, of? My other thing that I was thinking of was we already have... <clears throat> Boneclaw Wolverine at 36, and we have another Logan later on with the with the uh, old man Logan at 16. That is true. Would, would we that rather bump a Logan to make way for... Because like, like I say, I do like the fact that he does come with the, um, you know, the, the Carnage style head as well. Yeah, yeah. I do like that. That is pretty awesome. And that's how I've always displayed that figure with that head on it. Yeah, because it is quite a unique 
uh, look. A fun I, even went, I even went to the lens of sticking the Carnage thin hands on him as well. Oh, good call. Yeah. Yeah. So he's, he's quite, I do have him on my shelf. So, so we're thinking old man Logan, we drop from the list. Them. I think, yeah, I think the yellow and blue Wolverine's too iconic to kick off, especially with bone claws now. So I'd yeah. say kick off our old, old man Logie for some of the Riley. Ben Rylers. Yeah. Okay. Well, do you, just for, for you personally, do you prefer Scarlet Spider or the Spider Carnage Ben Riley? Spider Carnage Ben Riley. Okay. In in that case, I'll I'll, I'll keep Spider Carnage Ben Riley high and then drop down drop drop down Scarlet Spider to the Old Man Logan spot. Yeah, that sounds good. All right, there we go. That works. All right, and there we go. Okay, we're kind of cooking on gas now. So. Uh, I think, you know, uh, Sensational Ben Riley doesn't have to go any higher because there was a lot of uh, sort of uh, favoritism from me there. So I'll, I'll put him on the number nine spot, but that's a little fluky on his part because I was going to bat for him. So Jane Foster, I don't have this figure, but you do and you like her. Mm -hmm. I do like her. And now that we're looking at this list on the way it's filling out together... I don't believe she's going to be. She's going to make the top ten. I don't think, personally. Okay, so we can bump things down a, a little I think bit. So, I love the Jane Foster figure, but I don't think she's worthy of being higher than like Mystique and stuff like that. Personally, and Silk. Yeah, I, I can. I can totally yeah. appreciate that. Looking at this list coming together, it's like, mm, where does she go? It's it's tricky, isn't it? Because yeah, yeah I mean, you know. We've got things like, you know, fairly basic characters like Cyborg Spider-Man or Havoc. Like, I mean, do you prefer her to Havoc, for example? Yeah, I would definitely prefer her over Havoc, I think. Yeah. Um, but then again, you know, so so does that put her above? I mean, gosh, it's I mean, do you do you want do you want to lose Havoc entirely? Uh, because we still have Colossus at number 50. We so we could always just bump things down, but you kind of want to keep Colossus on the list. Technically, we could remove the Red Skull because we don't technically own him yet, so he does break our little rule that we set out in the first place. We, we do have you're, that number three right. spot, whatever it is, available. She would fit yeah. there nicely because she's kind of better than some figures, but not better than all. You know what I mean? She's kind of middle ground there. That's, that's a good one to go for. So we kind of lucked out by not having... Uh, the villains wave out yet. So there you go. Jane Foster, Jane Foster Thor goes in where the Red Skull was. Because if we did use the MCU Red Skull, he would have been shown the door a while ago, I think. Yeah. So that's that's fair enough. Now then, we have... See, annoyingly, I don't want to get rid of Modok because he is such a unique figure. But I can appreciate that he's definitely a Marmite think, figure. Do you think he's... Better than King Thanos or no, Ray no. Hulk? Is he worthy no. that high, or is he going to be one that we? I don't got? think he's. I don't think he's worthy of being that high. But at the same time, it's like when you start comparing him to like regular figures, like for example, Mysterio. You know, it's like well, Mysterio is a beautiful figure, but you know, does can, can he really compare to something but that so big? Yeah, would that... we put Modok in the twenties then? Yeah, I think I think so. Or maybe maybe just above Armored Daredevil. Yeah, I was thinking that we got you got you got Armored Daredevil sat there. You we could either remove Armored Daredevil entirely for Modok. Mm, you you could uh, you could do because there are there are lots of normal figures represented. So yeah, uh, it's it's tough because yeah, Armored Daredevil is great, but yeah, just to give the list some variety. We'll put Modoc because this is uh, this is this is turning out quite interesting. So there we go. Now then, we 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 we've we've done pretty well with opening up spaces for ourselves. So how many spaces have we got left now? We've got one, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four figures because we've been pretty brutal. <laughs> uh, so there are there are other ones that we can bring out from the oh well actually there well, no because we've gone we're still over because we still have 
we have Sunfire at 51 and Archangel at 52. So we'll bump things back up when we when we have too many spaces. Because uh, there's still Scarlet Witch, yes. who we haven't gotten rid of, who I'm not a fan mm. of. But then again, you were very generous with my Ben Riley figures. So I'm, 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 I'm willing however, to grant some leniency for Scarlet Witch. Yeah. However, I would rather get Hope Summers in the list. And I know she's not on your list at all. And she no, is a very actually, old figure, but I think she holds up to modern standards. I was being cagey with with Hope Summers and not mentioning her because you actually that doesn't take much um, convincing because just from your seeing her on your video, she looks like a really nice figure. So it, to this day, that figure still holds up. I'm gonna go get her. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go grab her, and I'll bring us both up here so that I can see you showing her off. Because uh, yeah, I didn't even know that she sort of existed as a figure until I saw your video and I was like, oh damn, that actually looks really good. So this is. As Ash said, one of the older, oldest, really, probably one of the oldest, newer figures, if that makes any sense, because that's what this list is all about. 80th Thor, Thor, I know, but there's a reason. There's a reason I didn't pick 80th Thor, and that's because I hate the way his hair locks his head in place. And with Sauron, it's his tail. It takes up too much space. It kills me right there. So, yeah, I can't be doing with that. All right, you got to. So here is hope. Yeah, let me just bring you up in uh, full screen there. A lot of people. Nope, that's me. That's me in full screen. I think this is the best. This this is the best we can do. A lot of people um, oh, have been using her head sculpt for Mara Jade from Star Wars. Oh, I can see how that would work. Yeah, yeah. Jade, really. And I like the fact that the cape like swooshes a little bit in the wind. It's all tattered. Uh, they did a great weathering on that as well. And her articulation to say this is an older version of the fig. The articulation is still pretty decent to this day with the uh, with the ab crunch. The legs do lift out as I do rotate. We've got double hinged knees on it. Um, yeah. So by modern articulation standards, she's pretty decent for a female fig. And is the uh, is is the metallic is is the green paintwork sort of metallic on there? Is yeah. a bit of a sheen to it. Yeah. Yeah. See, that's a that is a good figure. That definitely that got, stands the test of time. And she's got the solid. She's got this like um, sort of effect on the gauntlets as well. Which uh, I wish you could see that properly, but it's like it's like a wood kind of uh, like leather wrap going on there, and then she's got the yeah. solid metal over the top of it. So it's like two layers. That, that is nice. Yes, yeah, and obviously when you, when you're looking at like the like the X Men lore and stuff, she's definitely one of the main modern storylines. She was the reason the, you know the mutants come back and stuff. She's the first born mutant after the No More Mutants thing. Yeah, yeah. So, so did, did did they do like a cable thing with her where they brought her into the future to grow up and then brought her back to the past or something? No cable's her father. But how is she so old? Oh, I can't remember after all these years, to be honest. Um, yeah, and you call he, and you call he, yourself an X Men fan. He looks he looks after her as a baby. She's a baby in his arms in some of the old comics. Yeah, so he, yeah. He kind of looked after her throughout her whole life because she's but, only old by the modern era, isn't she? Well, she was I born in the remember. modern era. She I was born in the modern era, and then I, I don't know. I, I don't care. Remember. Get out of here. Come on, we're almost finished. We're, we've been doing this for two and a half hours. Why are we now <laughs> debating X-Men law? <laughs> <laughs> Can we just finish this damn list? We're so the one, close. The one figure I didn't include on my list, which I which I do I do wish I did, and I didn't, was Blink. She def I do like Blink. She's very plain. A lot of people consider her a plain Jane figure, but I do like her. Yeah, no, Blink, Blink is a cool figure. And I, I like her her blinking portal effect. And actually, I managed to get that working really well with my Age of Apocalypse little stand. Hang on a second. I'm going to, I can just about reach Blink here because I'll probably mess up my display. But as you can see, yeah, on her, her flight stand, I managed to have her sort of jumping out of her portal. And that works kind of cool, just having it hang there. So, yeah, I do, I do like Blink, but again, she's got the kind of a bit too much of a plain, yeah, expression. Yeah, yeah. but her, her eyes, her face, like she does look cool. She does look very cool. So, I've got a lot of time for that figure. And when when I have the second Age of Apocalypse wave, that's going to just bring that whole thing together. So that's going to look amazing. If you ever get the chance to get a second ring. Get it, paint it red or dark purple, and use it with Nightcrawler and have him jumping out of it. Oh, that's a nice thought, actually. Actually, yeah, that's 
that's interesting. Neither one of us have Nightcrawler on no. on the list, and a no. lot of people go crazy for Nightcrawler. Yeah, um, the new night, the new Nightcrawler they gave us. Um, obviously, everyone, everyone used the old one for to, for to death. I've still got the old one as well. But that modern one, it was nice, but they, uh, something lacked in the finishing touches for me. His little uh, he, he's, he he had a great bunch of uh, you know di different heads to choose from and all that kind of thing. But even though, yeah, technically on a technical level, he's a really great figure. I just I I like him, but I don't love him. But I've I've never been a huge Nightcrawler fan in the comics either. Uh, again, didn't don't hate him, but just, I don't have any real connection to him. Joshua so so comments. yeah. Joshua in the comments has just put about blink that she's not blinky enough. Well, that's oh, that that's my that's my first thought. Okay, well, look, Hope Summers, who's, who's the person who got us onto this discussion, I'm <laughs> more than happy to have on the list. Definitely. Do you do you think she should go as high as number seven? Yes. All right, that's I'm I'm happy to let let that one be the case. So Hope With Summers, I think she's such an old figure, and the fact that she's still a paintwork and her, and her articulation still holds up to this day, and she's almost ten years old. In fact, she's older than ten years old now. And her yeah, that's that's pretty good going. So actually, what we can do now, we we it's really comes down to for the number one spot, uh, Ghost Rider and Dark Phoenix. So we can move things up a little bit. Uh, and see kind of how things look because we haven't put Scarlet Witch anywhere, and you know I'm not, I'm not against including her altogether. So we'll see how things look once everything is uh, aligned. I know that there are there are easier ways of doing Excel, but I'm, not, I'm just not an Excel person, so I'm going to do it the long winded way. There we go. So highlight all of those, and then I'm going to cut and bump them up. And there we go. So we haven't given Scarlet Witch a place, but just Archangel. Oh, wow. So all of them are actually on the list now. So Colossus was number 48, Sunfire 49, and Archangel 50. So one of them would still get bumped for Scarlet Witch. But before we even think about that, we've got position number one and position number two, Ghost Rider and Dark Phoenix. I don't own Dark Phoenix. Why have you put her so high? Dark Phoenix? It's the only Dark Phoenix we've had. The fact that the hair at the back is practically like clear. It goes it goes from being solid, like regular hair colour to being uh, see-through plastic at the back, which is so awesome. And the paint is like a lighter orangey red towards the bottom to give it the flame effect. Um, Man. It's, just, it's such a good figure. They could have easily just given us uh, the bog standard Jean Grey and just given her a, a bit of a new face, but they didn't. They gave us like three different head sculpts to choose from. And they even packaged it with with a Cyclops they've never re-released as well. Yeah, actually looking at this figure here, I'm really gutted that I don't own this two pack. And I'm not I'm not even trying to collect this era of X-Men, but looking at looking at this, I'm like, damn, that looks pretty. Face, I'm trying to I'm trying to show you the face sculpt closely, but my camera's not that good. But the um, yeah, the face sculpt is absolutely amazing with the with the with the white eyes. And the look and stuff, which is she looks awesome on the shelf, especially if you've got her on her flight stand raising up and stuff. It looks awesome. Okay. Yeah. And you know what? With that, with that in with, mind. And with there as well, I was thinking like, oh, compared to other figures on this list, she's probably the most expensive figure on this list, other than <laughs> yeah. And she's probably the one that they've not given us, they've only given us the one figure of she's never been re-released. She's the most expensive figure on the list. She's an exclusive from Toys R Us that is no longer exists. So this is like almost going to be a grail figure for a lot of people using grail in the real term. She's going to be quite yeah. a struggling figure to get in the future if they don't. I think it. this is probably the most legitimate grail figure, um, mm -hmm. so, certainly, because the only way people are really going to get her now without silly money is if she's full on re-released, which, yeah. you know, might might happen. Uh, who, who knows? Uh, but yeah, the only other one we... Well, the, the figure that we're putting up next to her is uh, the Deluxe Riders Ghost Rider, who I can't find an image of. But you know what? I don't really need to because I am more than happy after that little pitch right there <laughs> to put Dark Phoenix as the number one best favorite Marvel legend of the Super Sorrel model behavior epic debate. There it is. Number one spot. Dark Phoenix with a bullet. That is a BEA 
beautiful figure right there. That was a great choice, man. Who's our number two then? Well, number two, simply by proxy and process of elimination, I would like to place Ghost Rider. Yeah, I'll go with that. Yeah, uh, I I love that figure. Of course, he was my number one, but I will absolutely concede that compared to Dark Phoenix, uh, you know, you could argue maybe that, you know, uh, he's got more with the bike. But at the same time, I like the bike, but it looks a little plasticky. It looks a little sort of kids toyish, whereas Dark Phoenix has all the things that I love about Ghost Rider with the fire and the mm -hmm. flame effects with three different head sculpts, all of which look absolutely awesome. I've well, got not, no yeah, she problem. Comes with, she also comes with the, uh, for all you Spider-Man fans, she comes with the Mary Jane Watson head as well. Always useful to have in the back. Ah, yes, of course. That's easily, <laughs> easily a Mary Jane Watson head. So, yeah, that's an easy number one. And finally, before before we go, you know, I've, I've moved Scarlet Witch into the sort of consideration section. But, I mean, really, we do have an official top 50 unless you want to try and find a way to work scarlet witch in there i am happy with the top 50 as we've got it to be honest excellent well in that case i will just give the official top 50 countdown because i enjoy the sound of my own voice so <laughs> in at number 50 we have archangel followed by sunfire then Colossus, retro wasp who somehow managed to hang in until the very end uh, angelica Cable, Stanley, Sentinel, Retro Gambit, Iron Man, and Spider Verse, Spider Gwen. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Uh oh. Retro Wasp versus Scarlet Witch. Final time. Which one do you prefer out of those two? I tell Stanley you what. Wasp, Scarlet Witch or Wasp? I prefer the Wasp, but I would give it to Scarlet Witch because I appreciate that they're both sort of similar ballpark figures so would you rather scarlet witch yeah Scar all right there you go scarlet witch in there at <laughs> number 47 i'm 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 fine with that i'm i'm happy with that because she is she is she's a, a decent figure People so then yeah laughing at the fact that i think you wrote angelica instead of angela by the way i thought that sounded weird when i said it <laughs> I'm pretty there. sure. Um, I, actually, guys, <laughs> uh, I think I, I think those commenting, uh, you, uh, you're wrong. Actually, her name <laughs> is Angelica. You need to go look it up. All right. <laughs> I, I, Angela is short for Angelica. <laughs> okay. Um, then yeah. So we got uh, Bullseye, Magic, Retro Green Goblin, Elsa, Bloodstone, Bone Claw, Wolverine, Moon Knight, 25th Anniversary, Deadpool, Havoc. Bath Apocalypse and Jane Foster Thor takes us to 30. Then from 29, we have Cosmic Ghost Rider, Cyborg Spider-Man, Mr. Hyde, Modern Thing, Mysterio, Deluxe Venom, Monster Toxin, both back to back, Deluxe Kingpin, that's where all the beef is there. And then Pizza Spider-Man at 21. Then number 20, we have Demo Goblin, Modok, King Thanos, Groot, Hellfire Club Emma, Mark Bagley Carnage, Retro Scarlet Spider, Grey Hulk, The Fan Choice Silk, Fallen Surfer, and finally, tell you what, Ash, give us the top 10 if you can read it on the screen, if it's not too small. Let me try and zoom in to your thing here. Uh, so starting at number 10 is Fallen Surfer, right? Where, where are we? Uh, yeah, so sorry, I, I just bodged that up. Then Number 10 is the Deluxe Punisher. The Deluxe Punisher is number 10. Number 9 would be Retro Doom. Number 8 is the Deluxe War Machine. Number 7 is Ben Riley. Uh, number 7 is Mystique. 6 will be Hope Summers. Oh, uh, 6 is Mystique. Oh, sorry, 6 is Mystique. <laughs> 5 is Hope Summers. 4 is 80th Captain America. Um, 3 is Venom Pool. 2 is Ghost Rider. And 1 is Dark Phoenix. That was harder than it seems after 3 hours. <laughs> <laughs> And folks, that brings us to an end of the first ever title fight of Super Sorrel and displaying model behavior. Oh, me, mia. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> and with that, Ash prepares to ride off into the darkness once again. 
look at that the the summers ladies took it home for you dude i'm i'm i'm, I'm happy with that i have no problem with uh our number one the only problem now is that i have an official grail figure i gotta chase but wait is it over yet did we want to do something at the end of this did we want to <gasps> you mean did we want to call someone up brother <laughs> are we are we gonna call somebody out <laughs> are we gonna throw down the gauntlet i think people would love to see david displays model behavior tag teaming with the super sorrel using our definitive 50 list and we will love lovingly and stretch out the hand for it to be slapped away by dan who Dan Who Reviews, if you are listening, which are probably not, but we'll tag you in to make you listen. We, 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 <laughs> Whether you want to or not, you're going to listen to this. We would like to request your attention, brother. And we would like to see you and your three little cronies, little cronies, your little, your little, your little podcast partners, brother, to come and go one-on-one -on -one with the hookster and one-on-one -on -one with the David Displays Model Behavior, the Randy Savage. You respect that, brother. <laughs> That's exactly what we're going to do. So we have our combined list now. We have our combined top 50. But you know what? There might be some that have been missed. And there might be some who people think, why on earth is that there? So Dan Who, that's the next thing we're going to do. Uh, hopefully, if, if your game bring you into the equation and you can bring your figures that we did not include and you can give us the reasons as to why we should bump some of ours off and make a new unified triple threat. <laughs> top 50 figures so more on that later as it progresses but guys thank you so much for joining this has been an absolute blast almost hit the three hour mark before we go uh ash put you on the spot is there anything you just want to say to the the dozens who are watching right now <laughs> the dozens of mankind fans um <laughs> No, guys, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate the three hours that you've given up for us this evening. That's really awesome of you. Uh, whether you're David Splays Model Behavior fans or Superstar fans or both, that's epic. And thank you for, for checking out the UK streamers. We are we, we do exist. I know there's a lot, there's a lot of <laughs> Americans out there. But yeah, we are here to stay UK streamers. So check out our both channels. Check out David's channel, please. Give him a like and subscribe. Did it, guys, and absolutely thank you so much. And by, by all means, of course, go over to Super Sorrel, check out all of his videos, absolutely fantastic. Massive shill for Hasbro, just you know, <laughs> guys. Yeah, thank you so much. This has been a great, great time. I will ramble no longer. I will simply say, until next time, keep displaying model behavior.